What is up, Hopers? Yeah, it was really good, Dopers. He doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. He doesn't care what's up. I do that in the mirror every day when I get out of the shower. Do you see who's uh, performing at the Super Bowl halftime yeah, dude. show, dude? My ex favorite and your ex favorite. I love Shakira. I love J-Lo. Shakira, Shakira. What was that terrible movie that's coming out with J-Lo, though, and they showed the trailer before it? We talked about it we already did. in the last podcast because I remember I had to put in the Nicki Minaj, uh, the Cardi B pictures. Yeah. That's right, dude. Yeah. So we're not going to talk about it. Yeah, it actually has called? like a great score on Rotten Tomatoes. What? Yeah. It's out already? Like, yeah. It has like a 70 something or 80 something on Rotten Ooh. Tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not going to see it because no, it looks awful. Definitely not going to see it, but uh, it's based on a true story. Oh. Yeah. It's based on like an article uh, that came out about like strippers okay. who basically, I think, scammed their stockbroker clients or something like that. Mm. I don't know, you know. I don't, I don't know. know if I'm up for another scam movie. Yeah, it's got to be a good scam. They have to be. You know? There's only like it's a handful. Be a good scam. There's only a handful that actually work. Yes. Yes. Italian job. Oceans Eight. Not Oceans Dude, Eight. Not Oceans Eight. That's a movie that I'm never going to see again, and I really no, don't want. I, to. I have no desire to see Oceans Eight ever again. Or yeah. Ghostbusters too. Yeah. No, I mean, sorry, the new Ghostbusters. Sorry. Yes, but now there's Ghostbusters 2020. It's coming out. Which they still didn't get Bill Bill Murray to sign on for yet. For real? Yeah. And they're going to have like a younger crowd. So I think it's going to usher in. And but men though, because that fucking men, bro. one sucked. Yeah, it was not good. It was terrible. It has a really good score on Rotten Tomatoes. You know what? that, right? Look really? it up. Look it up. I got to flip the screen, so hold on. Go ahead, man. Do what you got to do. Get up, guys. Dude, do. Ghostbusters, the new one, and it's not because they were all females. It just didn't work for me. You know what I mean? Like, I bet you if it was four guys and it was the same plot and, like, the same delivery of lines, you'd be like, eh. No, it was not about the women no. at all. And it, I really don't like women, as you know. He hates women. Wow. Yeah. Dude. What does it have? Critic, 74. 74? Audience. What the fuck? 50. It should have a, you should take that zero out of that that last number. Yes. It should have a five. It's not good. No. And what you said before about it's not about the women, it's really not about the women. No, it's really not. It's about everything else. Yeah. The comedy, the writing, the yeah. the whole uh, aesthetic to the movie yeah. felt like a Goosebumps kind of movie. Yeah. With the ghosts and the mo- like it felt it felt like Goosebumps. Too light. Too light. Too light. Give it a little bit more oomph. And There's that, some parts in Ghostbusters 1 and 2, the originals were like... Oh shit! Like, yeah, dude. We're in trouble. You know what? I just watched the uh, Halloween Horror Nights this year mm. in Orlando. I don't know about what they're doing in California, but I, th- I actually think it's the same. But anyway, yeah. dude, they they're doing a Ghostbusters one, mm. and I watched the walkthrough of it because obviously it's already open. Mm-hmm. They open in September. I watched the walkthrough for all the Halloween Horror Nights haunts, yeah. and the Ghostbusters one is actually pretty cool because it's nothing to do with the new Ghostbusters. It's oh, all old Ghostbusters. Nice. So you got Slimer, you got little uh, projections of the old woman and the uh, the lady in the library. Nice. Like you have a lot of the legit staples of that first Vigo movie. Vigo the Carpathian? Movie. I don't know if it's the second one actually. So I don't know if they have Vigo the Carpathian. Fuck. Vigo! I am Vigo. I love Vigo. you, Vigo! <laughs> that guy, that guy's great. Vigo! Do not touch the painting. Oh, (laughs) Mr. Figo. I want to suck your hero. And then dude, baby Oscar. Baby Oscar Isaacs, man. He grew up to be one of the biggest gay porn stars ever. (laughs) And his brother died. Remember that came out a couple years ago? Died. That baby. Because there's two kids. And one of them died. Guess what? What? Heroin. No. Yes. Are you are you being for real? I bet that's what I heard. That's that's why I sounded so drunk. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Oh, man. we didn't even say Gus. Gus, <laughs> welcome in to episode 380 proof. It's 380. Because it's 80 proof of vodka. 80 proof of vodka. 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 80 proof. 80 proof. Vodka. Guys, we don't drink vodka. Okay. No, Anymore? dude, but I remember the taste Clean of it. Clean and soaps, you know? Yeah. yeah, and what about the Dan Aykroyd one on uh, on Rogan? Crystal Skull or whatever Crystal the fuck Skull, dude. And then they're just... He's, he's, just drinking that, and he's, they're talking about the how it's so smooth and it's poured over diamonds. Yeah, so unnecessary. When they make it, no one gives a fuck. Why'd you spend ten million on a diamond, idiot? Exactly. Just but I go over no, it. but it's cheap diamonds. It's like oh, I get it's it, like I get it. part diamond. They're oh, not they're fucking, not rare. That, that's why they're pouring vodka over it. They're they're a footsie. You know? They're a footsie, dude. There's a footsie, but maybe forgot what I was going to say about Dan Aykroyd in the episode. Oh, but they were talking about how smooth vodka, how mm. smooth the vodka is. I'm going. I don't give a fuck how smooth you think vodka is. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It burns like a yeah. motherfucker. It burns like vodka. It 
it and it burns tastes like, like vodka. It was only like a default thing. It was like back in the drinking day. It was like, oh, you have vodka. All right, I'll give take me a it. shot. Right, give me a shot right now. But the drink of choice, it. I'm dude, not gonna like it though. Drink of choice was always brewski. Pass one of the brewski. You know what I'm saying? And I'll take the brewskis. It wasn't like I was a Teddy brewski. But, no, 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 no. But. I, I never drank like 10 beers. I was never that person. No. You know? no, no, never. I, my tolerance for alcohol just wasn't what my tolerance was for dope. You know well, what that's mean? a good point, though. I mean, that's actually a good uh, tolerance to not have, though. Oh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, fuck for it, dude. Sure. No one want, dude, there was nothing worse than getting absolutely blackout drunk. And I only did it yep. on maybe two times. Okay. But you just, you just, A, you wake up and you really want to kill yourself. Yep, yep. And yep. you contemplate it. Then okay. you go to the bridge and you were like, oh my God, I'm going to do it. And then uh, someone pulls you back in. Like, you don't want to do that more than once no. or twice in your life. No, 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 no. So, but I do, cr and you know, I brought some non alcoholic beers over here. And he drank I like guys. the taste of beer. And I don't, yeah. but I guess that's good. Because I, we're both clean from opiates. But I'm just saying, I have smoked weed and drank alcohol since I've gotten clean. Yeah. So, but I don't. The last, I don't even remember the last time I had, I had alcohol. Maybe the night that G and Senna were here and we were Oh, drinking. yeah. And that's Literally, the last night I, I had non-alcoholic that, alcohol. That's why it's in my brain. Yeah, so, yeah. but it would be bad if I liked the taste of beer yeah. and I had a tolerance to drink 10 beers. Yeah. Because then maybe I would, I would have substituted it mm. is basically what I'm I saying. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. It would just do a little, it would just a little. Yeah, well, yeah, be yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah. man, now that, I, now that I'm just drinking, yeah. you know, I can drink whatever, but I don't want a beer. I know. I don't like the feeling of being drunk. So it's right. just a, it, it's, that's why it's just not a problem for me because I, I don't even don't. want it. You don't even want it. That's don't even thing, want it. I don't, don't want the feeling of it. Plus, I don't even remember the feeling. It's been forever. Wow. It's been, I don't remember the feeling remember of the feeling. being yep. drunk, yeah. but I do remember, because again, when you're drinking a non-alcoholic beer, you get it. You get the taste. So you of understand course, what's you're going like, on. okay, yeah, but no feeling. No, and that's what's kind of cool, obviously, about it. But well, that's I like you every day. You have no feelings, so. though. Sociopathic. Wait. See, you're right. No dude. feeling, physical feelings or emotional feelings. I do not B know C what you're K talking. B C K. Oh, K. Yeah. Methodical, yes, but proper. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm proper but methodical. Proper, never methodical. Always methodical, dude. I've been plotting shit since day one. You don't know about. You, you yeah, you probably do. That chair, weird, yeah, uh, a couple more sits is gonna. I just switched chairs. This is the, I never, guys. I've never sat in this chair for an episode for a filmed episode. Who'd you have tied Did up in the last? Uh, BTK. He's you got him out of jail. Dennis Rader. You got him out of jail, dude. What, dude? Why do you think we went to see Three from Hell and we reviewed it on our other show, Fiends Watch? You can click the link in the in our YouTube channel on the description. I don't know wherever it is, you can find it. But mm. why do you think I saw that? I needed to know how you escape from jail. Oh. I learned you fucking take the warden's wife hostage and you bribe him to with get him your out. Hot and that sister that you don't have, like hundred percent. And that's and that's ex no, he didn't bribe him with the hot sister, dude. Well, the, the hot sister was a play into no. Getting the hot out. sister was to get out. Yeah, all they did was kidnap the wife. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so you don't Great need point. the sister. You, you don't need, need the sister. sister. Yeah, they were yeah, trying yeah. to the sister is BTK in this situation. Kinda. Yep. But way more annoying. Oh, but you know what I did watch last night on YouTube, what? which we're on right now, guys. Okay. What's up, YouTube world? Hi, Tube. Even though we have. 14 people watching. Hello, YouTube world. Could be 1,400. We, never we know. don't know. Eventually, it'll get there. Bro. All a compilation of the kills from Dexter. Okay, only saw the first season. Yeah, because I and it was funny. The video I watched was all the kills from the first season. That's wow, so funny. No way. Yeah, so it didn't really like spoil a lot because okay. I know there's a lot of seasons. But um, but I watched a bunch of the kills. And first of all, I didn't know he killed everybody the same way. In season one? Yeah. It's been years. Yeah. He I watched killed, it in 2013. I, it might be the whole show. He killed, he he has them all tied up on his table. Oh, okay. And he then, cuts yeah, their yeah. cheek, takes a sample of their blood. Don't know why he does that. I don't know either. I think he has like a, just a collection of their blood. Mm. But he kills everyone the same way. Not literally the same way. Some of them will drill people's heads. Sometimes he'll fucking stab them in the in, in the chest with a knife. Mm -hmm. But they're always tied up on his slab. and he And it's always that famous shot of their point of view. And he's peeking over right. their head and talking to them but i've never watched that show mm. i've always wanted to a couple people throughout my, the past 10 years have been like dude you've never seen De like Same. you Same. like you've never seen dexter yep. you would love dexter and i never have and it made me want to say you know what bro i think it might be time yeah jay my coworker was like oh i've seen the series three times yeah, exactly go, oh so it's my breaking bad to you yeah where it's just like you're gonna keep watching I and, said, it, okay. and it's about a dude killing Bad people, serial yeah. killers, pedophiles. Like, that's awesome. Yeah. You know? He's a great actor. Yeah. Anthony do you, Michael Hall. Do you remember what? Not Anthony Michael Hall, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Steve Michael um, Hall. 
Do you remember what his like what he's an expert in? What Dexter's an expert in? Not really. Blood splatter. Oh, he's a blood splatter expert. Perfect. Yep. Fucking That's a hard word to say. Blood splatter. Blood splatter expert. Blood. Sp- can you say blood splatter five times fast? You're talking to the five times fast champ, dude. No, dude, that person's in the. Oh, hallway. hey, what's up? Blood splatter. 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 Maybe not it's hard. not that hard when you're. Yeah, but before it's I hard to- when you I, first think of I words. I tripped over it the first time. I go, oh, yeah. he's a blood splatter. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> that's why I said it was kind of a hard word to say. Blood splatter. Expert. Blood splatter. Expert. No, but that's uh, that maybe you just remind me of the show where it has the same thing you just said. Blood splatter expert. For real? But it's French. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just and fell asleep it, in that conversation. No, sense. no, no. But it's awesome, though. It's called Spotless. Okay. Now, this guy is a blood splatter expert. He gets hired by the mob <laughs> okay. to clean up hits. He's cleaning crew. Yeah. Th- he's like, because, you know, you and I going to clean up, we're going to go, yeah, you just fucking wipe it down. Yeah, dude, bleach Dude, it. See you later. You don't think about the bloop and the splatter and the fibers and shit. Of but course. Really well done. Okay. And uh, it's French, and I don't know if it's ever going to come back around because it's French. You're what the French call les incompentos. That girl practiced that line so many times in Home Alone. You what the French call les compétents? Yeah, she definitely practiced that in the movie. You have to, guys. We always talk about that. Like, you just notice when you're watching movies and shows. Those people who come in with just like one line, yeah. like one important line, yeah, and like you're like, yeah, yeah, you're go, like go. that dude practiced that for. Eight days straight. Dude. You're going to give an example? Is that Perfect example. Here we go. Perfect example in three, two, one. Boss, this guy didn't make it. Fuck. You know? What is that from? I don't know. I just made up a line. Oh, I thought you were giving an example, dude. Yeah, homie's going, hey, honey, we always do it, right? Hey, honey, honey, check this out. Okay, better. Okay. Hey, boss, he's not going to make it. That was pretty good. Okay, what's your second one? Hey, boss, he's not going to make it. Oh, honey, you know what? I thought the first one was absolutely delicious. Go make me a fucking sandwich, oh, bitch. Yep, see you later. <laughs> that's, that's all what, they do. That's what we're all about on the show, guys. Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, yeah. They a they, they times. look in the mirror yeah. and they do the Robert De Niro. You talking to me? Yeah. I don't see nobody else here. You, you know what's yeah. funny about that scene, which I just watched again on YouTube last night? Yep. He doesn't do that at all in an Robert in a Robert De Niro slash Italian accent Hundred. at all. At all, bro. Yeah. It is just. I forgot the name of his character. It's like um, you know, it's Alan so, you know, or something. So, it is. What is it? But you know, no, it's so weird. Uh, Chris D'Elia Travis G. Bickle. Yes, Travis Bickle. He just played that whole scene on his podcast, examining no what way. you're talking about. 100%, no way. Hundred percent. Dude, I went on a kick last night of Taxi Driver because yeah. I realized I've never watched that entire movie front to back. No, wow. Never. Bit, uh, dude, who of doesn't course, know Taxi? Martin Scorsese in the fucking yeah. playing the. It's my wife up there. It's my fucking wife <laughs> yeah. up there. You know, Marty Scorsese has more of an Italian accent. For than sure. Robert, Robert, you know that movie is just like just a, a normal, normal guy. No, none of that. You talking to me? Yeah, yeah. They, they over, everyone over exaggerates it when they're yeah, reenacting. Yeah, they do the yeah, Robert yeah. De Niro accent. Yeah. You talking to me? And they even do the. the face. Nobody around here. I don't see nobody else. Right. You know. Yeah. And he says a bunch of. He says in that monologue, he's like, "Skank pussies." Oh. Like he says some fucked up shit. Oh, does he? Yeah. yeah oh yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. not in no, that no, no, monologue. No, it's right after. Yeah, yeah. It's right after. He's yeah. like. I'm gonna clean up these streets. Yeah. He's like, all oh, you cunts, <laughs> pussies, scrapers, I think he vapors, drops the and bomb, losers. Yeah. No, yeah, Mars Scorsese you know. drops the yeah, bomb yeah, in yeah, the back yeah, of the yeah, taxi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He goes, see, see up there? It's my wife. It's my wife up there, right? Hey, you wanna know one thing? It's not my apartment. No, it's not my apartment. You know, you know who she's up, you know who she's up there with? Robert Tino doesn't say anything the whole time. He's just looking like straight forward. Mars Scorsese in the back goes, she's up there with a beep. She's up there with a beep. Guys, that's the N-word that he's dropping. Hey. And this is supposed to be like 70s, but still, dude, Martin Scorsese being racist. He doesn't mind. He doesn't mind when his actors she say it. He doesn't mind, dude. Yeah. It'll come out every no, once in a while. No, he says it. Oh, no, I get it. Oh, but I'm just oh, saying oh, it's oh, like, oh. look, I'll put it like this. Black guys are going to be like, oh, Scorsese said it? Yeah, it's Bro, all right. Scorsese said it? Uh, that's totally fine. Scorsese? That's crazy. Scorsese? That's crazy. Entourage. Is it on? Yeah, oh, yeah, oh yeah, it's okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Anyway. But I watched some tax driver videos and- I think it was two different YouTubers. They all said Scorsese. And I go, all right, dude, maybe it's just the way to say it, but I will forever say Scorsese. Dude, uh, the, a person that I really trust and know way more than you could be like, it's Scorsese. I'd be like, okay. That's no, it's not. You say it. 
everyone. To me, it's Martin Scorsese. I don't know one of our friends or anyone that we would know that nope. would say Scorsese. Even in Ugh. the old freestyle CDs we should do. Every time I would say Scorsese, <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was not like a Martin Scorsese flick. It was not that. It was like a Martin Scorsese flick. You well, know what I mean? Do some shit off of Scorsese. Scorsese? Yo, I got Scorsese. Uh... Look like Dexter, but I'm kind of more messy because I got four jet skis. And <laughs> <laughs> See, dude? Hey, man, it's no problem for you. But... I love Full House, but I hate that whore Jesse. Oh, shit. No, I mean, I like Say by the Bell, but I hate that whore Jesse. Yo, two Jessies, he said. One male, one female. Two different shows. I'm so sick. I dish you in an email, <laughs> and then I'll make you go to hell like American Horror Story. Now, bitch, she's selling retail. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Apocalypse. Emma Roberts, Emma Watson, Emma Watson. Dude, Emma Roberts, bro. Yo, you're darkening him with Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson? Dark, he's 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 good. Oh, he's great. He's a good cat. Oh. He'll forgive Scorsese, though. Dude, yeah. oh, 100%. What you think about? Yo. What you, what you dude, spin? You, okay, every fucking person watching this right now yeah. or listening, when you watch NFL, oh, sorry, if you watch NFL, mm -hmm. when I say the word brands on black dudes, you know what I'm talking about. Brands. Oh, like yes. burning brands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you ever noticed one out of every five NFL players on their arm yeah. has the upside down? It almost looks like an upside down horseshoe, mm. but it's the oh, right, Omega right. Uh, fraternity symbol. Oh, yeah. I see it all the time. You see it all the time. I see the hard knocks everywhere. Hard, yeah. dude, and I never knew what it was. I'll put up some pictures here because there's yeah. one dude, Quentin Couples, who was drafted by the Jets, I think like six years ago, mm -hmm. seven years ago. He has the worst one. It must be raised two inches off his skin. Oh. He has, dude, he has one here, right? Yeah. That's like three Omegas. And then he has another one here, a little lower, two brands that stick what? out like two inches. Dude, It's the you can look it up if you want right now. Dude, the most disgusting. To. And I have been seeing him for years on the NFL, on the NFL field, and I never... Like looked up. I'm like, what is this? Why do all these dudes have this? I never knew it was a fraternity symbol, and it's a predominantly black fraternity, so that's why all the people with these brands are most likely African American. Yep. Yep. Yo, yep. dude, that looks like that's something... not even the worst picture. You can you who, can who find. Did you say had the worst. One? No, no, that's him. I'm oh, saying that's oh, not the worst oh, picture oh, of okay. it. Okay. Someone dude, has a zoomed in picture of looks it. Looks like it's... someone added something to his body like they that's took what it something is. and went oh yep. put it on your body because the skin raises when you brand the skin raises dude would you ever get branded nope not one time and i went on a whole branding kick last night because i said i never knew what this was and i've been seeing it for fucking year robert mathis on the colts had it right. always oh, but i was shit. like oh ho colts horseshoe. horseshoe so i was like oh i knew Omega. we didn't get it for the colts but i always just put it together like that's a horseshoe you know but i said i gotta find out why all these motherfuckers have this and Long story short, guys, it's, they just get branded because it's a black fraternity. That's it. Sai, Kai, Sai, Kai, Sai, 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 Kai. Kai. Okay, you're yeah. in, dude. Isn't um, that crazy? Would you rather get branded okay. or get those horns put into your skin that are get you know, raised I guess up? branded just because anything with the face I'm not a fan of. All right, all right. Yeah. All anything, right. anything with the face I'm not a fan of. But it's a swastika brand or horn head. Hor what? Horn head? Of we just said you'd rather get branded. What? You'd rather get branded, you said, the over the over the face stuff. Yeah, but you just turned it into a swastika. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? Don't laugh evilly like that. I don't like stuff with the face, man. No, Again, I know what you mean. I went on a YouTube kick last night of this tribe in Papua New Guinea. Mm -hmm. You know what they do to each other? Dude, they cart, they do, they take like a little razor blade. It's not a razor blade, but it's mm -hmm. like a little razor blade kind of thing. Dude, they do over 2,000 cuts in their chest those. and on their face. You know they get their inside their lips too? No, they get the cut of the lip. No, the, no, that's oh. like the like the no, no, no. This was just it, it's okay. called scarification, and it's huge in their culture. Ooh. I mean, their entire face has little slits, probably an inch long each, mm -hmm. and they're just all over the place, and yeah. so they're all scarred up on their face and on their chest. It's like a rite of passage, yeah. like strength. Yeah, Pastor yeah. saying it like he's like I've not. A, oh, okay, yeah. I've seen it I was before. gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. It's fucking crazy. Oh, did you see who they did it to though? Someone not a in... baby. Oh. They did it to a two year old, bro. Dude. Come on, that's that that's it's shocking. It's just shocking. Wait till the kid can walk and like be like, yeah, I'll get it done. I think first. the kid is walkable. I oh, think he's he, I think he he's walkable. It doesn't matter, guys. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You don't do point. it to someone under eighteen. I, I don't give a fuck. Just over don't there, do it. They don't give a fuck, dude. They don't give a fuck. Ages don't mean shit. And they over there. say like the mom was like right there holding the baby. She's like she she needed to have it done on him or because she was scared something bad was gonna happen to him. Worse than that. That's the there you go. That's their you know 
psyche. That's just the tradition, the the culture that, no, we need to get this done or something bad is going to happen to our child. Hey, mom, do you ever hear of death by a thousand cuts? Yeah, you ever heard of infection? <laughs> yeah, you guys don't the necessarily fuck? have- You ever heard of the word sterile? Yeah, you guys don't have the best band-aids, rubbing alcohol, uh, mm-hmm. sewing kits over Oh my there. God, they have none of it. Yeah, exactly. They have none They're going to die. These are like the cannibal tribes of New Guinea. Those are the ones that did the semen warriors. Yeah, same ones, 100%. New Guinea. 100%. If, you're out of, if it's out of context, guys, I'm so sorry, but basically- these guys would take younger kids out, train them, train them how to fight, and then make them swallow their semen. Yeah, that's what they did because they thought it would make them stronger. And I guess it kind of did, dude. You know what I'm saying? Because some of them survived. Some of them are ripped, dude. Yeah. Some of them dude. are just ripped. Semen muscles. Oh. Semen muscles? You yeah. mean Navy Navy personnel? Yes. Navy personnel muscles? Yeah, dude. Okay. I, hey, boss, we need some more semen muscle out here. Yeah, we need some more semen muscle. That's a porn. Bring out the fucking tanks and bring out the fucking ships. Bring out the cocks. Bring out the fucking cocks. Yeah. Um, the, Dude, I'm noticing on the thing. Maybe shoot. you can come. No. They're not supposed to know that you know. No, I know, but I'm saying. Let's, this yeah, way. obviously, but now it looks so weird. That's yeah. what I'm saying. See, I'm not, well, not going to move that way. The listeners who you know? aren't watching are yeah, just no, I'm just saying. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Yep. No, you're right, man. Yep. You're right, right, I'm going to be over here now. Here we go. No, I'm just saying. Do hey, we want, see? I'm over here now. I'm, <laughs> DP, DP, we miss you, dude. Oh, we gotta get him back on. We gotta Filming? get him back on. He'll yes. never do that. You don't think so? No, I don't know. But I thought of a perfect way to film the guests. You put it over there. You put the camera right there because this doesn't look bad. Oh, I this see what you're saying. This doesn't look I see bad. What you're like that backdrop doesn't look bad. So if okay. we're right there, and then we put the camera just kind of like right there. All right, you know? so it kind of just gets all of us. Well, to get like, me here, it might get, get all of you there. if you're fine with that. You know, what up? You know, I mean, yeah. we could put in there, put the camera there, but that just doesn't look as cool. We'll figure Dude, it out, we're, guys. We're all about aesthetics, man. We'll figure it out. We're, I'm just saying we we'll we do out. have guests on this show. Yeah, we haven't had a guest since we started filming, so yeah. it's going to be a little trickery. But uh, I wonder who the first person be like, no film. Ser- no, seriously, I get it though. I, I, I get it, but I don't get it. This entire time, That's I the thing. said when you brought up the idea, I go, oh, okay, cool. So you're there. Where's my curtain? Because I want to be. No, I told him to go under the table, though. No, I told you to go but under I the was, table. I don't man. want to be by yeah. your feet and everything, dude. It's fucking disgusting. My feet? Your feet, dude. I keep... I, I Look, they're no prize. <laughs> they're no... Your son's <laughs> no prize! <laughs> Mr. Fredericks! Mr. Fredericks, son! Apparently, what are you looking at, Martha? You know who's... Uh, that was good. You know who... Remember uh, the wife of... Not George's wife. Who's the other Spanish woman? You know the one who's talking shit to fucking... Then he backslaps her in blow. Diego's wife? Yeah, Diego's wife. Okay. Huge... Huge in the recovery scene. What? Dude, she got hooked Who on- Who is she? Some fucking woman. What? She got hooked on coke okay. during blow. Wow. And then like for the next however many years kept doing it. And now she's big in the recovery scene, which I thought was interesting. Wow. I said, okay. It's kind of like- Is that all she- Maria? Could that be her? Yeah, I think so. Is that yeah, her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maria. Dude, she, by the way, she's on. She's in the movie for three minutes. I know. I was gonna say she she's barely smacked, in it, and then she has a wedding, and that's, that's it. it. It's in the scene where they're discussing uh, their first drug deal, yeah. and who's gonna fly the plane. If I'm taking all the risks, then I need, I need more. I need, I need two million. You know. How's your uh, your son and your daughter go One to school? One million huh? sounds yeah. so so good. You know, right? Diego, they're fine, dude. Oh, they're fine. That's but I don't know I if thinking. that's her. I keep saying Maria, but I don't know if that's her. Hey, look, man. Odds are it's Maria. You don't remember the name? No. Could it be Jennifer no, Jimen- no, 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 Jimenez? No, I don't know. Yeah, it's her. Like Jennifer, she was also Jennifer on Jimenez. Celebrity Rehab. I know that. I know that that's her. That's her. I remember Stop. the face. Say no more. Yep. Say no more. Then she gets. Wow, smacked. man. Yeah. Big in the rehab, and the you know we talk about addiction on the show, mm-hmm. so why not bring up a little addiction? Yeah, older sister of Dwight Jimenez um, has been mentioned on the Shoot Up with podcast. Oh. That's by Mike Passero. Yeah, it's crazy, guys. See, we're coming up in the world. You know who was that? Uh, so I, before I decided to go to Mountainside, yep. the rehab center I went to. Um, shout out to Mountainside. Um, Wagwam. Wagwam. Uh, I almost went to this place called High Watch. High and, Watch. And the word on the street was always, decent place, great food. I'm like, all right. That's a weird thing. That's to have weird to, for rehab. I go. Do you think the last thing I'm thinking? About, I'm going. Oh, they got. Good I'm gonna be food. so hungry in rehab. Oh, I can't I'm wait. Gonna be, to, I'm gonna be starving in rehab. Have stick, bro, I ate yogurt for eight me? days straight, yeah, and I then I ate nothing. lettuce, and then it all just came out anyway. Uh, long story short, I watched just had a special speaker last week, dude. Who was it? You might know him from such shows as Ballers. You might know him from such movies as Russell and Sarah Moss. Russell Brand. Russell. That's Brand. pretty cool, man. It's kind of cool, and dude, it was open to anyone. I'm like, fuck. 
you didn't have to go to High Watch to go. Oh, so when I learned shit. about that, I go, dude, we should have went. Yeah, we should have went, guys. It's in Connecticut somewhere. Yeah. But this is cool. I'd hear him speak, dude. Why not? Of course, hey, man. Oh, hey, what'd you, oh hey, boys, what, what were you hooked we're, on? Right, right, <laughs> right. Did you know that it's, God's not real? The, uh, the re- that, that was good. Thanks, man. The rehab center I went to, uh, Origins, uh, when I was there, it wasn't Origins, called Hanley Center. Mm-hmm. Now it's called Hanley Center at Origins. Mm-hmm. Dr. Phil, there was a today on Dr. Phil, someone sent me a picture, like, oh my God. Origins Recovery, Dr. Phil. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, cool place. Yeah, um, awesome. Dude, Burt Reynolds went there. Daryl Strawberry went there. And sometimes a lot of these people would come back and speak. Like once every five years, Burt Reynolds, I think, came back twice. I don't know if Daryl Strawberry came back. But yeah, mm. with they, these rehab centers, my point is these rehab centers want big names yeah. that to go there. Oh, 100%. To go there. Because when you hear that, you're like, oh, it's legit then. Yeah. If Russell Brand went to this rehab, it must be legit. Oh, they must have paid him. He didn't do it for free. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. He he has that kind of good so. But then it's like know? everyone's going to ask him to go. Like, you know how many fucking no, rehab centers but, would love to have Yeah, him but they're not knowing that he's doing it for free. They might not know that he's going there. Yeah, it's, a, a it's, a, it's a whole thing. I just thought it was kind of cool. That's awesome, man. I wonder if Jon Snow ever got out of re- I'm sure he got out of rehab, but I wonder how long yeah. he was in Connecticut. I don't know if that, they said kind of weird mental health thing, mm-hmm. right? They didn't know it was just yeah. for addiction, maybe alcohol. I first heard right? addiction, then you said you then saw we alcohol Then we the read show. the article, yep, yep, yeah. yep. But back to Diego, we really need to, it'd be cool to do on the fly acted outs though, On now that we're filming. No question, guys. We, we, we have done too. a lot of acted outs on this podcast. Acting. And none of them were filmed, but now that we're <laughs> filming- they're gonna be. What do you think our best one was? Because we did a lot of really good ones. I think I know what our best. I'm talking about where it's as departed. Ac- Is that what you're thinking? No, definitely. Okay, departed as was pretty good. Accurate to the yeah. movie. Yeah, it was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. in the same timing, the same beats. It was pretty good. It that was, was really. We've good. done a lot. We've done a lot though. We've done a lot. I, I don't know. We, departed was the longest. And guys, we also have done. Oh, departed was definitely. It was like nine and yeah, a half it was minutes. Good. It took us an hour. And, the scream one was good. That wasn't technically enacted out, but the oh, scream one was dude. really good. I love. We that just reenacted one. the opening scene to scream. It was amazing. It, oh, that was great. It was fantastic. But guys, we also do two with Sophie sing. Yeah. Dot dot dot. We've sung songs. We got to do it on here for sure. And we'll just do, do it like live a, and laugh a lip and sync. Uh, no, like a, we'll just play the song. Hundred percent. Because if guys, it would take us two hours to record a fucking oh, song. Oh, you mean just like almost like karaoke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll sing it to the camp. You know, hundred percent. A lot of upcoming dope shit on the show is basically what I'm trying to say. Then we're getting to you the know? holidays, dude. That's the best ching, time ching, to sing. Ching 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 ching. That was Halloween mixed with Christmas, dude. That's what we do. It kind of got me in the Halloween Christmas spirit. I'm so pumped for Halloween, guys. Right yeah. now, it's October. You guys are feeling it. Mm. You guys are feeling You're the Halloween the style right now. And we got a fucking Halloween spectacular coming up. Oh, coming let's up. just say, listeners, you definitely want to watch. Oh, you definitely yeah, want to watch. Yeah, 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 Jesus yeah. Christ. Um, <laughs> Dude, that's what I'm going to be. Jesus Christ. Uh, Dude, that was the best note you've ever hit. <laughs> Start you motherfucker. <laughs> Thanks, man. You know why? Cause I'm all pitched today, baby. Bop, bop, bada, beep, bop, 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 bop. Anyway. What else, man? What's going on? What's going on with dude, you, dude? Absolutely nothing. I'm actually just really looking forward to whatever the fuck we're gonna do for Halloween. Whatever places we're gonna go to. We're you know? gonna do a fucking zombie. We have shoot, to, dude. We're we gonna have do a to. zombie shoot. It's gonna be pretty fun. But no, it's been, dude, Nothing? it's just been one of those just weeks. It's just you going to Philly tomorrow, dude. Oh well, you never been out of Stanford well, before, Hershey. Hershey Park. Hershey. You're sick, dude. I, one of my students was like, oh, yeah, da 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 da. I went to Hershey Park and I go, you're sick because I haven't heard the word Hershey Park in two years. And in the span of two, three days, I hear the word Hershey Park. Yeah, because it's people, so weird how shit happens like that. Because people up here don't really go there. No, I know. Like but, they do. But, but you hear Six Flags just every as day. much. You every know? day I hear Six Flags. That's what I'm saying. Flags, you hear, yeah. oh, Six Flags, Seven Flags. Yeah. You know, you just yeah. hear it. I want some chocolate. The yeah. last time I went, it was a long time ago, but there's literally a part where you pull up and it just smells of chocolate. And you're going, oh, Willy Wonka. Mm-hmm. Not Gene Wilder. I was talking about the remake. He, d- he, died. he, he died. died. He died. Yeah. He would have been Speaking a great Speaking of uh, theme parks, man, yeah. have you heard of any of this, uh, what's it called? Um, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge? This is the point of the show where I go, bro. You went? We been talked about galaxy's edge no we haven't we have we did because i was telling you about how everyone's dressed up and you have to in the hotels have to wear the garb that they give you that's a hotel and it's not open yet uh, no but they invited people the hotel is not open yet no but they invited people like for press and stuff like that so you can get like a 
No, no, but I'm saying yeah. Galaxy's Edge is not the hotel. They're no, working on a hotel. Oh, I understand. It's not that. open. But yeah, there's a lot of dope shit there. No, there's not. What are you talking about? There's not. Galaxy's Edge is a fucking flop. I just went on a kick three days ago about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It is, first of all, they made up a, this is in uh, ho- uh, Hollywood yeah. and Florida. So it's in both places. Yeah. They made up a place, mm-hmm. right? They mm-hmm. didn't say, oh, we're going to make Tatooine. They didn't say, oh, we're going to make, you know, a certain place in Star Wars. They made up a land. First of all, it is zero things from the original trilogy. Zero. What? The only thing that's there is a giant Millennium Falcon. And they even got the satellite thing wrong on the Millennium Falcon. That's the only piece that's there from the original trilogy. It's all new, new stuff and made up stuff and and all like the little um, wogs or whatever they call them. The little thing in the the new one. Whatever. Yeah, Yeah, dude. People hate it. It's like a huge controversy now. It opened, I think, in Orlando, it opened in August, and mm-hmm. I think in Hollywood, it opened a month before that. Yeah. And it is dead. It is fucked, dude. Guys, just on YouTube, search Galaxy's Edge, and it's, there's a, I went down a rabbit hole yeah. of Galaxy's Edge. It's oh, fucking shit. crazy. It flopped like, and I was like, what? The Star Wars land flopped? Dude, fans of the series, of the films, or whatever, yeah. are mad well because you're gonna want to go there and see c3po or d2 yeah, you want to walk yeah. into oh i'm in star wars yeah. now right it's not that it's a giant wow. and everything you pay for like i everything, mean it's a giant yeah. mall yeah so what it is is there's one ride there called uh uh what's the word that what's uh han solo what does he do like for a living what do they call him a uh, yeah, i can't, I just can't think of a word it's almost like a he's like a, a thief it's like yeah a, like yeah a, yeah like he's a, a <laughs> not an importer like he's a grumbler a, no he's uh, a, i know you're talking about he's dude. a fucking uh not a hustler he's a yeah it's something like he's that he's a though. cargo uh, <laughs> ga- uh what the fuck is it dude what do they call Han Solo, guys? <laughs> he says it a hundred times. Yeah. Everyone's oh, like, oh, a, you mean the... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you mean the fucking... You mean the... Blah, blah, smuggler. Dude. Smuggler. What's wrong with... So, we said thief. We said cry. Like, no, the fuck. So there's one ride there called, like, Sm- Smuggler's Escape or something. And it's super cool. You're in the Millennium Falcon, and you get to three different seats. The first seat, you're, like, driving it, so you actually have to push buttons, and it wow. affects it. Second seat, you're hitting a button, and it's shooting the guns. The third seat's the engineer. It's the weakest one. Anyway, that's a high point. People like the ride, that's which cool. is totally cool. I've watched videos of it. The other two things that you can do there, you pay 250 bucks, I think it is. You wait in line for two hours. You walk in, and it's kind of like a show, but you're building a lightsaber. So you pay 250 bucks, you get to build your own lightsaber. Oh, shit. Okay. So Disney's like, oh, yeah, we're going to do an attraction, but you have to pay $250 to do it. And you basically stand around like 30 people, and there's a guy in the middle telling you, and you get to pick like four different choices, and you just put together a lightsaber in an hour. Hey, That's man. one. Then Dumb. the other thing is you wait in line for an hour, you get to go build a droid in their shop, where you have to pay 100-something bucks to go build a droid. That's all you do at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. How crazy is that? Dude, when like, I heard all the promos for it and the, the guy know. who came on Kevin Smith's podcast that's who what works I'm there, I'm going, this place sounds amazing. Bro, and that's why everybody <laughs> is so disappointed because it was supposed to be like Star Wars land. Yeah, I, when you say everything about this place, Galaxy, Thank you. oh, it's yep. Star Wars land. Yep. Oh, dude, I'm going to walk in. Yep. Darth Vader's going to walk nope. by and be like, <sighs> you know, and like put his fucking lights no Vader. and shit. Nope. No Luke, C-3PO's no Han, no Yoda, no, 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 nothing. no nothing. No nothing. Nope. There, wow. there might be like a R2D2 in the dro- in the droid shop. Yeah, that's like a featured. big. No, it's not. Remember Star Tours? 100%. Right? So, dude. remember in or- the one in Orlando when you went on Star Tours was the old ride at MGM? It was awesome. Yeah, but even before you walked in, the line was. Um, what's the Ewoks place? Do you, do you remember the name? Um, Endor. There you go. Big trees. This yeah. is all outside. Yeah, 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 there was yeah. like six giant trees and there was a massive AT-80. Yeah. And it's the big fucking, you know, Those not the, the one that's on two legs, legs, the one that's on four legs. Yeah. Giant one and you walk under it and you're like, oh, I'm in Star Wars yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in Star Wars. Yeah. Then you walk inside, you're in a thing and then whatever. And then you go on the ride, see 3 pos there, like a whole thing. That, they should have taken that and made that galaxy. Yeah. Take, t- taken that idea and said, oh, we're going to expand this. For sure. And that's what galaxy, and they did the opposite. Yeah. And I was like, Dan-. and it doesn't affect me because I don't care. I'm not a big theme park guy. Right. Uh, I mean, I like Star Wars, but it's not. It's like if they opened a Friday the 13th or no, a, a fucking Nightmare on Elm Street land, which yeah. would never happen. But <laughs> no. it's like they opened a Nightmare on Elm Street land. And instead of Robert England, they had Jackie Earls, Haley, Freddie everywhere. 100%. Right. It's like, like that. Hey. Right. Where's Robert England, dude? Why aren't you catering? To Where's the Luke who Skywalker? Want it? Yeah. Where's Han Solo? Like, what is going on? But you know what you didn't mention either, though? Because it's not there yeah. and it's really disappointing. It's not like you're saying, oh, dude, 
they scrapped the or the original trilogy. Yep. And they're having all these awesome new things from the new movies. You know, exactly. I'm just I'm sitting here listening. I'm going, oh, so it's nothing. Nothing. It's all new shit, bro. Even the wow. fucking like place where you get food. Listen, they did a good job of like, bi- dude. Guess how much it costs? The whole project? Yeah, I um, think it's 14 acres in Disney. I think it's in uh, MGM mm-hmm. in Orlando, okay. which is called something different now. Yeah, it's called they changed like it up. Studio something whatever. Um, I'm gonna say the whole project was. Two uh, half a billion. Oh, billion. One billion dollars. And look, people are still going to go, right? But, but it's th- not going to get. People, people are still going. Droves, obviously, though. the only day it was like packed was opening day. Of course. And then other than that, there's only three things to do. So the lines are fucking crazy. Yeah. But there's videos on YouTube of it just being dead. People are like, this is, right. it opened a week ago. This should be packed. Should, oh, you're saying Star Wars well, fucking bro, world? Perfect comparison. Look at Orlando. Uh, sorry, mm. look at Universal. Yeah. Harry Potter oh. land. There's like three rides now. It You can't go to Universal on any day nope. of the year nope. and have it be empty where there's maybe like a 30 minute wait for Harry Potter right. ride. No, no, you never. ain't getting nope, it. Nope, nope, nope. That place is packed every day, every minute of every day. It's like That's going what to they, Avatar. 100%. It's the same thing. That's it's what they wanted. Packed. They Universal. wanted Avatar yep. to be, yeah, exactly. That's a good yep. point. I haven't been to Avatar place either. My yeah. little brother went and said, yeah, man, it's cool. I go back every time I go to Florida. So yeah. he likes it. It's cool. For sure. So that was a success. But for some reason, they they shit the bed on Star Wars because they're trying to build. Like, dude, perfect example. Yeah. You turn a corner in Star Wars thing and you see the, a, not a, uh, what are they called? The evil ships. What are they called? The evil ships again? Do you remember? No, no. there's a name for them. You know what I'm talking like about? 100%. But it's not that one. It's the one from the new, it's the new evil ship with like the curved oh, edges, yeah, not yeah, the ones yeah, that are like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like yeah. the curved one. So giant new one, you're like, yeah. okay. And there's like a, they do a show with uh, Kylo Ren. Okay. No, no Darth Vader is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And then you turn and it's the banner for the new order. Yeah. For the one from the remake. Yeah. So this is the evil land is what I'm saying. There's not one sign of Darth Vader, not one sign of the emperor, not one sign. It's all from the J.J. Abrams universe. And, on, and it's like they're banking on that to be bigger than yeah. the original stuff. It's like, hey, man, we know it's more recent, but the average person going there. Dude, my fucking nieces know who Darth Vader I is. I know. They Yoda, don't know who Kylo Ren That's what I'm saying. 100%. Why do you not? And, and this isn't all from me, guys. Yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. You watch this on YouTube. This is what everyone's saying. Consensus, right. It's a consensus out from the people who love Star Wars, like from the people who fucking love Star Wars. The King. Wars. I'm going to ask him his opinion. There you go. He's well, obsessed. he hasn't been though. No, but I'm oh, going to ask him his been. opinion. No, he has He's going oh. down in October okay. to just go do a bunch of shit with like a bunch of his friends. Yeah. And, uh, oh, then they're but, definitely going to go do that. Uh, dude, 100%. He's going to try to do Avatar again. He wants to get in there like nice and early because it was fucking amazing. But oh yeah, I'm going to ask him his opinion because I don't know. I'm sure he knows what you know, but we haven't of talked course, about he, it. So yeah. I'm going to find out tomorrow. And I didn't know about it either until wow. four days ago. You asked me months ago, know, bro. I'm going to go, oh, dude, I'm going to walk in. They're going to throw a robe on me. Yep. I'm going to have a nope, fucking saber nothing. and go, I'm in it. That's everybody saying it's boring. Fuck. They're saying nothing's going on. Wow. Like there's no. Uh, People fucking, no one's involving you in in, oh, come in anything. On. There's like a couple stormtroopers that walk around. Yeah, That's yeah, it. Yeah. That's it. There's no, it's not immersive. They have that in the regular park though. They do yeah. that show every fucking week. Of course, Naya had to be involved with it because they bring the of kids course. in. Of course, yeah. And they teach you how to do fucking moves. And there's just like hundreds of kids. But then it goes back to the doom, 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 doom. And then they're not, all marching. Yep, I'm going, this not is in fucking the new one. ill. Not in Galaxy's Edge. Ah! No music. Mikey, no music. Fuck. This guy's filming a video. Is going, look at this. He's going, you should be hearing. Bum, 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 Magic. Bum, 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 bum. It would give you goosebumps. Bro, it's, and ev- all the colors are like muddy and brown and these earth tones. And there's no landmarks. This guy, this, sorry, this girl's walking around and she's like, super hot chick mm. that's into Star Wars. Mm. It's, it's fucking crazy. I'm like, yeah, where, yeah, where yeah. do How they come- exist? <laughs> like, what? Did someone dude? pay you? What? Did Star Wars pay you? Um, and she's like, there are no landmarks. She's like, there are no staples from Star Wars that everybody knows and loves. She's like, look, a bunch of junk, like on the ground. Oh, yeah. look, a crashed ship. We don't know what that ship is. Like all this stuff. She's like, besides the Millennium Falcon right here, which is amazing. Of course. The, it's a literally it's a, a life-size Millennium oh, Falcon. So awesome. It is fucking life-size. But for some reason, they got the satellite wrong. It's a round satellite, and they made it a rectangle one. Why? Like, I, I don't know. Why? Weird. Weird. I wonder if a lot of the stuff, though, is from... Like the upcoming movie that you're not going to know yet, which is dumb though. No, there is no stuff because what stuff? <laughs> yeah, I'm, no, yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. like there are no, there's nothing that you go. Oh wait, 
That looks like something, but I don't know what it is. There's nothing you can pin there's it on. No, there's nothing that would stands out and you go, oh, this may be from the upcoming movie, but I don't know. Right. No, there's just nothing. That's Just watch a video of a walkthrough, like a 15-minute walkthrough, and you're like, this is it? Is it rights, though? Because I feel like they have all the rights, so it's like, yeah, what the fuck? They, they might have certain rights to certain characters, yeah. but, but, but dude, I think when they opened this, they invited George Lucas, mm -hmm. Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, mm -hmm. They, there was uh, like five of the main stars from Star Wars there opening probably day. Adam Driver probably. Opening yeah, day. Yeah. I don't know about Adam Not Driver. Even, I think they like had the, the, the people I just named. That's okay, it. Yeah, exactly. Right. For opening day. And none of their, none of them are in the park, like are featured in the park. It's so bizarre. So it's not wow. like rights to things. Like George Lucas was there. That's what I'm saying, yeah. George Lucas owns everything. Well, he sold it. Sold it to... Disney. So yeah. I'm saying this is Disney. So what yeah. I'm saying is like, if like they Disney, can do it. If they want to do it, they can do it. If Disney yeah, doesn't have the rights, then George Lucas does, right? Yeah, yeah, then George yeah, Lucas yeah. is like, nope, you can't do da da da. You yeah. can't do da da. Other than that, Disney owns everything. Dude, you would think, okay, in a perfect world, yes, you should have every, even Jar Jar fucking Binks. You Fine, have every Fine. major character yep. from all the films that have existed already. Yep. Fuck, that's and, a disappointment. And people who are like really into the lore of Star Wars, yeah, 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 yeah. they on the ride in the in the queue when you're waiting for the queue. Yeah, that's what they call it on a lot of these videos because they're like you know they don't say line. You no, know what I'm saying? Like queue. normal people. Yeah, it's a line, dude. The one guy who I guess runs or owns the Millennium Falcon now is some dude from like the. Uh, animated series or like the comic oh. books or something oh, they, they, and they're they, like oh yeah. like he doesn't even own the the millennium falcon right now like why does he own it in galaxy's edge like he's the one that's like there's an animatronic of him in line he's like you are all uh, you know gonna be driving the millennium falcon blah 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 yeah. blah blah. you know and they're like yeah. why him why yeah, would why you not him? have like Harrison Anyone. Ford. Yeah. Get an animatronic of Harrison Ford. Dude, or get whatever. An animatronic, get a fucking CG fucking... Exactly. Just an old, like a lookalike. You yep. can get away it's with it. It's all bizarre choices. It's just bizarre. And Someone's I was like, fired. damn, this is crazy. But like, you, you know what drives me nuts, though? What you mentioned, though, about everything with the money. About mm -hmm. how... Oh, okay, oh look, that's the worst part, though. It's the worst part because, hey, look. It's already... Look, it ain't cheap going to Disney, dude. Nope. You have a family of five. You're putting out dough. 600 bucks, stay, maybe. Yep. But the, I'm sure, did you get to see, I forget what they said months ago, maybe you know, how much it was to actually stay at Gal at the hotel? The hotel's not open, Mikey. But when it does. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I heard it was not like close lot. to that. Yeah. I heard it was like a lot. The only anyway. thing I heard about the hotel, there's only like sketches of it, like okay. of like their, you know, what, uh, they what do they call do. them? Like I, not storyboards, but you know like what I'm saying? Like, like a designs. prototype. Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, design. you know, graphic yeah. designs of them. They were the one of the videos was showing them and they look pretty cool. Like I saw awesome. some, yeah, yeah, dude. But only a hundred guests per hotel. It's only one hotel per the hotel. Yeah, a well, hundred guests, bro. So it's gonna dude. be like a super immersive experience. And every they say every window. Oh yeah, it's, is it's, look looks like Wars. space. Oh yeah, so space. Yeah, it's yeah, look yeah. like space. Yeah, yeah. And you have to be dressed in the garb they give you. Yeah, like yeah. they'll give you shit or whatever. Yeah. But only a hundred guests. I go. You're not gonna be able to get in there for so long. Forever. See, dude, that that pisses me off I so know. much. A make a hotel for five thousand guests. Yep. Exactly. It's Star Wars. Exactly. And it's a huge area. Two, stop charging way more it's just crazy. to build a fucking like that's what pisses me off is yep. that they're it's already the money. they're already sucking you dry. Oh, you want to do this thing? It's pretty cool. Right? Everyone gather around. 250, Pay 250, money. 250, 250, 250, that's it. They that's... make it like a ride. I don't mean nerd, but no, I'm no, saying no, no, that's no. what they do. I'm, they're I'm like, angry. okay, we're gonna make building a lightsaber a ride. Like, Dumb. They it's make not a it ride. a ride. Pay two hundred something bucks and you get to wait in line for two hours. Then you come in and you sit at a and there's a whole I watched a whole video. It's like 30 minutes. And it's this couple that go around and they fucking go to all these theme parks and they film the entire thing, yeah. the entire lightsaber building thing. And I'm like, that's it? Like, that's all you, there's an actor like, like right around the, it's like a little bar that they're all, it's like a circle bar that they're all standing at. They all have a little section and like pull out your instruments and they pull out an instrument and it's like a bunch of little things that you screw together. It takes, it's like this unscrewing this mic. That's all. It's like you put that on you and that's it. They make a story out of it and the actors like acting and telling them what to do and blah, 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 blah. So I go, they made it a ride. Like they made it an attraction, yeah. but in order to do that attraction, you got to spend 200 something bucks. Yeah. Imagine doing an awesome, awesome roller coaster and be like, $200, please. You'd be like, oh, yeah. Hold like, on. Just like you said, it's paying to get in the park yeah. and then, oh, no, no, no. You got to pay to do this. Oh, no, you got to pay to do that. Oh, I so know you're I'm, sucking me dry here. Yeah, I know I'm going to have to pay for uh, crazy prices for food and drinks because yeah. oh, that's yeah. how they make their money. For sure. But God damn. <laughs> That's I gotta pay to have an experience. What did I pay to get inside for? I'd rather pay someone on Etsy 
the same price. Send me an awesome one that's Done. legit. Fucking vroom, Done. Vroom. Did they look pretty legit? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, yeah. I, it is the screw in like plastic top yeah. thing or whatever, but it's about the experience. It's the experience. Yeah. It's not like the experience bad. Yeah. It's the fact that you have to pay 200 something bucks to make a lightsaber and that's an attraction. Right. Imagine you have a family of five. And they're going, oh, exactly. Dad, I want, oh, you Dad, want I want to. Do? Okay, come oh, on in, guys. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Of us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A thousand dollars. Oh, Dad, I want to join this. Another uh, 500 bucks. Jesus like, Christ. Son, you know? I have to sell you yeah, to fucking get to this. To fucking money, get dude. this, man. And, we can get a and I'm pen. not sure, but I believe it's a separate price to get into Has to be. Galaxy's Edge. Has to be. You know dude. what I'm saying? I, I, I'm 99% sure that it's a separate price. You can't. You don't just buy the park and you get into Galaxy's Edge. I think you have to buy a Galaxy's Edge pass or whatever. Dude, when I remember all this info being spit out, me it was yep. either a thousand dollars a night per person for the hotel you're for saying the hotel, or a thousand dollars no it was it was but galaxy's edge isn't the hotel so no, no, i'm just no, no, saying no. i know when okay. they, i'm talking about when they open up the hotel if okay they yeah 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 because yeah, 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 now yeah. you're saying it's a hundred people that actually makes sense but, for that price yeah. but even if you buy the thing to the hotel you, i'm sure you're gonna have to pay to for get sure. into the to get into galaxy's for edge sure. so it's not like it's a no. they're two totally yeah. separate things like yeah. they're just making they're, it's all about money yeah it's really all about money and hey if they design that park around the original trilogy yeah. it's a different story because oh. it's worth it It'll be so you're like fuck man I, I i gotta pay this to yeah. get in now i'm gonna pay this for a lightsaber it doesn't matter when i'm walking around this place i am in star wars i feel like i'm luke skywalker yeah. in star wars that's different it's it's the fact that it's shitty yeah that's why yeah. everybody's bugging out people would not be complaining if it was amazing and you know, for something that's arguably the biggest intellectual property probably of all time, yeah, you can do it. You exactly. can do it the way that the fans want. You can cater to kids. You can cater to the 100%. 75-year-olds who love 100%. the original. So, God, that's a fucking bamboozle to the to the soul, dude. Because, I look, whether I was ever going to go there in the future, I just wanted to see clips of it. Doesn't I just matter. wanted to see the dude, magic, dude. Exactly. You just want to see and go, oh, shit. I might go there one day. Yeah. But just to make it be awesome. Now it's just like, done. Fuck that. So bad. I would like to do the ride. Yeah, of course. That's cool. Who, who wouldn't? But, God damn it, dude. You get more of a feeling walking up to the old Star Tours. It's not there mm, anymore. But, like, know, you get more of a Star Wars feeling walking up to that than you do going into Galaxy's Edge. Right. Yeah. So the updated ride was pretty cool because they had, you know, they added just like Oscar two scenes, Isaac, I think. They yeah, added yeah, yeah. Fucking Daisy Ridley and shit. Mm -hmm. But hey, man, look, one yeah. day, Mikey, when we take over and we do global domination. Well, that's coming up soon, guys. We'll yeah. Buy Disney. Of course. We're working on it, guys. Oh, speaking of hot nerd news, you're going to hate and love this. So Spider Man got, right? Good. Fuck. Good. They're doing one more film, 2021. What do you mean? Last, one more with the it's with the, the same? last okay. Disney Sony combo, dude. Wow, good. So, you know, oh, that's right. Good. But would you will you watch it when it's out on the stick? What? Is it out? Will you watch? I'm sorry. Will you watch it the newest one when it's out? It's already out. Did you watch it? No. Jake Jilly. I know, but it's fucking. If it was if it was on the like HBO, I'd watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick. Yeah, but it's just not worth it. I watch Annabelle uh, comes home on the <laughs> yeah. stick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we could. Let's talk we could, about we, it. Dude. Yeah, let's talk about let's it. Talk about Annie Belly. All right, dude. So Annabelle comes home she came home she all right. came home yeah. uh it's a little late we're doing this review a couple months after but that. it just came out on digital yeah on itunes and all that good stuff so i finally watched it you saw it when it came out so you might not be as fu -fu fresh as me right no, i'm Correct? always fresh as you but not well, in this movie. Mm, not fresh and clean like me um you know? yeah saw it in the theater in theaters and uh, you didn't really weekend you didn't really like it I didn't like it. He didn't like it. And I'm not saying I like loved it. No. I I'll give my gut gut reaction and you can give your gut reaction, sure, man. Absolutely. I thought the first hour of the movie was really well done. It was patient and there were not a lot of jump scares in the first hour. It was like this director was and it was just it was his directorial debut. Mm, right. So he wrote I'll get his name, but he wrote um, it chapter one and it chapter two. Mm. Uh, he wrote, he did, he wrote the nun, uh, which isn't good. I'm just saying he did write it. Yeah. He's been, he's doing some things in Hollywood. His name is Gary Doberman. He wrote it. He wrote the nun. He wrote the first Annabelle. Uh, he wrote both of the it movies. So mm. that's, that's pretty good. He wrote wolves at the door, which was that weird Charlie Manson type movie. Have you seen oh, it? I watched no, no, it. It no, was no. not good at all. No. Um, so now he did his directorial debut with Annabelle Comes Home. Yeah. So there was nothing to base it on right. as far as directing. So I said, all right, I don't want jump scares. I mm. said, I don't want jump scares. So what 
dude, there were so many shots in the first hour that were not jump scares, jump scares that were creepy, atmospheric, an old person in the background randomly, no yeah. music cues, no nothing. Um, so I did like the first hour. Then the last 20, 30 minutes mm -hmm. got into the jump scare territory yeah. of just every five minutes, we're going to have a new jump scare. Right. Build up, build up, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. And I didn't like that. But overall, and you might call me fucking crazy, I liked it better than Annabelle Creation. I, that's a total unpopular opinion. Yeah. I, I didn't like agree. Annabelle Creation. I thought it was fucking just not good. I thought it was an okay follow up. Oh, God. I thought, well, follow, the first Annabelle sucked. First Annabelle sucked, but I mean, it was. I thought two was better than one, obviously. Yeah, that's yeah, what, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Two was definitely better than one. So you think this was the best one out of three, huh? I think this was my favorite of the three Annabelle movies. Yep. I'm not saying the there were some good scares because the Annabelle creation was directed by the guy who did Lights Out. Right. So there were a couple good executed jump scares, yeah. but I'm not a jump scares guy. No, fuck jump scares. Lights dude. Out, that director's known for jump scares. Yeah. That's what he does well. He does well-crafted jump scares. Yeah. If you watch Lights Out, it's well-crafted jump scares. Oh, it's one yeah. of the better examples in the last exactly. five years. So, And that's what Annabelle creation has. It has yeah. a lot of well-crafted jump scares. I didn't like the setting of Annabelle Creation. I didn't like the story of Annabelle Creation. I didn't like all of the exposition in Annabelle Creation mm. of the whole past and the family who had a daughter. And it was so cheesy and corny to me. That part was kind of lame. Yeah, that was the whole movie, yeah, though. That part was it was like lame. a whole mystery of that movie. Yeah. I just, I really didn't like that whole farmhouse kind of aspect. This felt like a straight 1970s ish haunted house movie and with just two babysitters babysitting a girl and it's a creepy haunted house movie that's why i liked it and there were like two or three scenes that got me bro there they were which things one? that or which well one? there was one where the girl and they're not jump scares they're mm -hmm. just creepy when the uh friend of the babysitter the one who yeah. killed her dad yep. she is walking down the stairs she's like oh i gotta go return the key so she's walking down the stairs and right, you see the door to the bathroom, to, yeah, the, uh, to the museum room museum, in yeah. the background. She comes down the stairs and her head totally, it's its really, really well shot. As she's walking, her head blocks the entire, and right as her head blocks the door, you hear, yeah. you hear all the locks unlocking mm -hmm. at, and you see the reaction on her face and you're like, oh, that part was fuck, good. dude. Those, there were two or three of those moments in this movie that I'm like, you can't say that that is not a scary scene. Right. Not a jump scare, guys. A creepy scene to where if you're like, oh, fuck, if that was me. Yeah. If I'm walking down that hallway and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I got to go into the office. And behind me, I just hear the, the doors start fucking. And the door goes, Aah. I'm going, yo. People, I think, just judged it off of the jump scares. And because I, I watched a lot of reviews, yeah. I just I watched the movie, so I said, mm -hmm. and a lot of people hated it, and, and you know, but it has like a sixty something on Rotten Tomatoes. It? Oh, sure. It's so I, I just I didn't think it was a bad a bad movie at all, at all. Those are my <sighs> thoughts. What are your thoughts? Look, man, I'll put it like this: We just determined before <clears throat> before we started recording that yeah, I did see it literally three months ago. Yep. I remember a few things about it. Okay. Like a few scenes. Yes, that with the door locking, it's super effective. Okay. I did not like it for, I mean, the first 10, you, we knew Ed and Lorraine Warren weren't going to be heavily featured in it. For sure. Bookends. hundred percent. Yep. And I'm going, okay, it's fine. Let's see what they're going to bring in at the house. I like that they stayed at the house. That's awesome. Cool. I love it. Contained small horror. Of course. And that usually works. Yep. It, it, you don't have to go to all these different locations and have all these different stories inside. Yep. Have it be stuff. grandiose. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hated the fact that they had to bring in the boy. The bo the character, the fucking whatever you want to call him, love interest. Whatever you want to say. Oh really? Oh, I thought it was funny. Hate, oh, oh, I liked him. Oh, I hated him. What? Hated him. I thought oh, the I whole him. werewolf thing was awful. Oh, see, that werewolf was practical, and I thought it was dope. It was no okay. CGI. I don't think that it was. It was just a weird thing to have in an Annabelle movie. Yeah. Well, be well, that's what they did with this one. Is this is a movie about a haunted doll that is not about a haunted doll, right? It's about all other things. Yeah, and that's and, cool because there's a lot of shit in that room that's kind of like, oh, that, oh yeah, that piece, that piece, that piece. Yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. And I, I agree. When when the werewolf first attacks the kid, you just see the face. It was kind of like CJ. I'm like, what? Yeah. Is this like because they talk about the hellhound, whatever. Then he's trapped in the car. Yeah. And the werewolf. That was a dope werewolf attack scene. Not the right. not the first one, but when he's in the car. See, I see. So okay, I liked the werewolf. I go. Oh, I look. like werewolves. I go. I know. I go. I'm getting a practical werewolf in a fucking animal movie. This is awesome. So I actually liked that werewolf scene. 
I just feel like, I mean, look, I, I mean, I'm sure I'll watch it again. I know it's out now, but it's I out. was just it's like out. not yep. rushing yep. to see it again. Of but, course. I'm not going to watch it again anytime soon. Yeah. I just need to see it. But I don't know. Like, I really can't tell you that many things that I liked about it since it's been three months. I barely remember anything about it. And I just, I don't know. I didn't even like the girl who is the friend of the babysitter. I just didn't like, it just didn't work for me. Okay. Yeah. The story itself was just kind of like, all right. And then they go in, they're just going to fuck around. Oh, they just mess with it a little bit and I'll see what happens. There's no doll. Not well, saying that you need to have. Yeah, because the, the end about dolls is not scary, it's, and it's like so that's but, why I liked that he did that. But it's most effective in the beginning of the Conjuring, and like they never got back to that. Because yeah, exactly. Yeah, they never got back to it in because, any of the movies. Yeah, because once it was done, it's done. Right. 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 right and right. but to get back to this, there was no story in this movie. Zero. So that's why. But this is a haunted house. If but and about creation. There was too much story. It was garbage. Yeah. You're getting this whole backstory it was about much, much. this daughter and she thing, and then the thing possessed it. And it, it's I, I see. I hated that shit because I don't mm. find it believable at all when they go too into it. Yeah, I don't want that much of an explanation when it comes to ghost stories yeah, or demon true. stories. I don't want that. So this, I kind of knew it. I'm like, oh, okay, there. This is just going to be a haunted house movie where these yeah. girls are babysitting. It's one night, and they're going to be attacked by all these. Entities, creatures, mm. whatever you want to call it. Yeah, but you're right. The last however long. I, how long was the movie? Do you remember? An hour and 35 minutes, maybe. All right. So, but I do remember like thinking when I was watching, I'm like, man, this. when I got out of the theater, I'm like, this last half hour just fell apart. Yeah, the last half hour because it's just these jump scares. Yeah. And you can tell that they are trying to set up other movies in the Conjuring universe. Right. You have the samurai thing yeah. that came to life. You had the guy with the coins over his eyes, yeah. like the yeah, Reaper yeah. thing. And then you had the... A uh, chick in the wedding dress. Oh fuck, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I kind of remember so that one. So I'm yeah. not saying that I I liked all that because I didn't. I thought that they could have done different entities mm -hmm. and different things. But the the positives that I'm getting, like, listen, I'm gonna give this movie like a six point five or seven. Like, mm -hmm. I think it has a sixty five Rotten Tomatoes. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad movie. It's not a great movie. Not at all. But. Some of the, when you look at it deeper and you look, okay, let me just look at this scene and see if it's a well-crafted horror scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this little girl goes up to the room, dude, and she fucking walks in the room and Annabelle's in the, it, just sitting in the chair, yeah. right? And she's like, oh, fuck, and she closes the door. Mm -hmm. She opens the door again, Annabelle's gone. Right. She goes in the fucking room and she fucking turns around the mirror and Annabelle's right there and then she, and the, none of these come with loud ah! no. music cues. It's all patient, subtle, creepy atmosphere that I was not expecting when I started this movie. Mm. I started this movie like it was going to be the nun. That's why yeah. I waited so long to see it, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I had no expectations. Right. That's also maybe why we differ on it. Yeah. Because I watched it at home, mm -hmm. chilling on my couch. Like right. I, I, I was not in theater. If I saw us in theater, maybe it's a different story. Yeah, for sure. You have sure. different expectations when Definitely you go see it. Definitely different. The but I remember being like, mm, hey, look, if this is even just. On the same, because I actually did like the second one. I it, I only saw it one more time since it came out. What did you like about the second one? I'm curious. I just like the. I actually did like the setting of it. You did. I hated that there was a lot of fucking exposition and backstory though. Yeah. But and they could have trimmed that by 20 minutes too. Like it, yeah. it was a little. I was just like, okay, all right, let's get going yeah. here. Because there was some slow parts. So you that. liked the setting though. You liked the orphanage thing with the parents. Yeah, and I liked that room with the fucking with the actual like the dollhouse and shit. Like I thought the bedroom. So, yeah, the bedroom. Yeah. Was it a dollhouse? Was there a dollhouse built in there? Yeah, there's a dollhouse in there. Yeah, for sure. There's definitely a dollhouse in there. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. There. yeah. There's some things that were kind of effective, but I just thought I thought it was way better than the first one. Boring. Yeah, it was definitely better than the first one. I just boring. the second one was boring to me. I, I watched it once. I'll never watch it again. See, that's how I felt about this one. I'll Some never watch worked. it again. Yeah. Some things did work in this. Yeah. Now that you're reminding me of that, because I do remember her in the mirror. You're going, yep. okay, you're right. But it's only the I, last act yeah, where you, you left, start. You start to get the classic scene, 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 uh, scene, scene, jump scare. Yep. Stop. Cut, boom, Jump and scare. it just happened a thousand times. I agree. I agree totally. On the kitchen floor, all that shit. Dude. Yep. I, dude, I am 100% yeah. with you. The last half hour is not good. I'm like, mm -hmm. they, they're just falling into the jump scare thing. Maybe the Same studio format. was like, we need more jump scares. Yeah. Hey. We need more jump people scares. People went to the nun. Yeah. People went to it. 100% made Let's so much keep money. the formula. Yep, 100%. Throw want, some more formula in there. We want jump scares. Yeah. We want different entities that we can branch off and make different movies of. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine if you want that. I didn't want that. Same. Why I'm saying is because the first hour... You can watch and go, oh, so this director doesn't want to do jump scares. Yeah. He can make yeah. awesome patient horror scenes because he's doing it. You're watching it. Right. And that scene in the beginning when Ellen Ray Warren are driving with the 
doll mm. in the back seat, oh, yeah, yeah, and they yeah. crash in the accident. And you see the dead person standing there. Then they stop. There's no jump scares in that right. first scene, and it's creepy as fuck. Right. She turns the graveyard. They're just all the, all ghosts just standing mm-hmm. there. No loud music cues. No fucking loud bangs and sounds and shit coming at the screen. There's none of that. Right. So that's why I gave it props because I was expecting a nun esque movie. Yeah. With just boring blah jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, and I didn't think. That's what this was until the last, like the climax. So that's that's what I'll say about it. I will say it's worth a watch because it is directed very well. The yeah. cinematography is great. Production design is awesome. The acting is fantastic, dude. Who is the your favorite girls, actor? Ooh, probably the main. The two main girls were really good, actually. I thought the girl, the babysitter, Both, and the and daughter. The friend. I thought. They oh, were, and the friend. No, and the friend. They okay. were they were fucking great. The mm. the friend was a great actress, bro. She she had kind of more to do than the main girl. To tell you oh, the truth, oh no, it, it almost like became about her. She had yeah. main, she had, she kind of had more to do, and the little girl was fantastic. Yeah, she did a good job. The daughter, no one complained about the acting. I watched all no. those reviews. Everybody's yeah. like, hey, if I have to give this a positive, it's the acting mm-hmm. and the cinematography, and it looks great. Mm-hmm. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. I think it could have been way worse. I guess. Oh, it definitely could have been way worse. Yeah. I just feel like it could have been way better. I'm stuck right in the middle. See, I disagree. A, I don't think. It, see, that's what I mean. I think that's why. I knew what it was going to be. Maybe that's why I kind of liked it more because I was like, oh, this is not going to be good. I'm not. People watch these and they go, maybe they're like, hey, this might be like The Conjuring. Yeah. When you're like, you're an idiot if you think that, right? It's like James Wan directed two movies Mm -hmm. and they're fucking great. Yeah. And none of the other movies in the universe are nearly as good as that. You got to give him all the credit in the world for those, those. two. Yeah. And you could see the difference. You watch Conjuring one and two, then you watch the Nun or La La Irona mm-hmm. or this or yeah. the first Annabelle, the second Annabelle, and you're like, okay, now I know what a good haunted movie is. Right. The La first La two Rona. Conjuring movies. You uh, know, Irona, dude. Yeah, this was way better than La La Irona, dude. What? Oh no, miles apart. Jesus. Miles past it. This was fucking entertaining. It wasn't boring. And I you might call me crazy. I think it was better than the second one. I'm not gonna call you crazy, but yeah. I just know where I stand on it. And it's fine. We're gonna have different opinions. Oh my god. But you yeah, don't want to now agree I am, here, dude. I'm yeah. wondering if it was flipped. If you saw it when you and it came out opening weekend. For you, sure. You might have said that yeah, I can see you saying the same stuff though. Because there are some dude, redeeming factors to put, it though. Put it this way. Annabelle Creation has a seventy one on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Annabelle Comes Home has a sixty five. They're right there. Yeah. yeah They're yeah, right yeah. there. I think yeah, there's, there's more connect. jump scares than Annabelle Creation. To tell you the truth. There might be. Holy shit, No, there shit, might be. Dude. There's a lot of formula in all of them. Yeah. There's a lot of the formula, the big bang, after the jump scare, Ooh, that after silence. is probably going to be hot, dude. My, my yeah, after yeah, was, yeah, 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 yeah. My, yeah, yeah. Af, my after. I right, see it. It's fine. Go. Because you, you wanted to give him a jump scare. That, that's what, I tried. See, guys, you And if you guys are watching in the dark, you definitely got fucking jump scared. I threw on the lights out short the other night just to go, let Amazing. me see what's up, because it's been a while. Amazing. Fantastic. Can't and ever I only saw lights out one time. The movie, the actual real oh, movie. Uh, yeah. yeah, same, 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 yeah. same, same. So I might actually want to watch that again pretty soon. I saw it in the theater. I, me too. I remember really liking it, mm-hmm. and but it was they were well-crafted jump scares. They were jump oh, yeah. scares. You know what I'm saying? Effective as fuck, though. Yeah, guys, see how big his fucking water is? Look at that. Water champ over here. He's he's almost he's almost out of shot. Look, look, look how far he's bouncing around there. <laughs> Amazing, guys. Burps better than farts. I'm waxing poeti- poetically, and he's talking about burps and farts. Wax and poetic. I love it, man. So, oh. yeah, I just, I I liked Annabelle Comes Home better than Creation. That's what I'll say about that. I didn't like Comes Home as much as Creation. For sure, dude. Um, What else? Oh, dude, that must have like a water vomit. Combo That's what we like, guys. Here. Water and vomit. I gotta be honest though, I've never farted in here yet. Good, don't. On while we're recording. Yeah, dude. Bro, you are drifting out of shot. Oh, I'm man. so sorry, dude. Jeez Louise. Sorry, man. man. I'm just, you know what it was? My, my I went. Yeah. And, it was the propel, and you're drifting you know? out again. Well, I did on purpose. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't matter. You don't drift out of shots, dude. Drifting in and out. Fuck, what, man. What? We're drifting in Fucking and out. Fucking Jesus Christ. We need to make dude. a short called. You're drifting out, dude. If you drift Tokyo again, bro. Your favorite film. We need to make a short called. What? This film has no jump scares. Yeah. And it's going to be just nothing but eeriness. Yeah, well, it's like you watch Hereditary. Like, if you guys want to know what a good horror movie is without the overuse of jump scares, watch Hereditary. Watch The Witch, right? Like, watch, like... Watch those kind of horror movies, and that's those are the ones that we're talking about. Yeah, the ones with not filled with jump scares. Yeah, you just made me think of a good like kind of a impromptu top three, but we always kind of talk about them. Movies that you are constantly recommending to people. It's not um, bad, right? 
I'd have to think about that. Oh, we'd have to think about it right now. I'm just saying. Yeah, that. no, no, no. You know what I'm I'd trying to say? Because I feel that. like anytime you say The Witch, I'm going to like, I just yeah. told someone the other day about it. Oh, yeah. I go, how do you? It's been on Netflix forever. Of course. Go to it. Seek it. Seek it and love it and want to be it. You and know? Anya Taylor Joy, dude. Ooh. That was weird. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's my move, dog. I don't know what that is. It's like the moonwalk. It's a weird move, a little, dude. Ha. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Can you not Anya listen Taylor to this Joy. guy, dude? What's Can the problem? listen to this guy, man? I like females. You're toxic masculine. <laughs> toxic masculine. Super, super toxic, this guy. I'm already, I'm getting caught over here, you know? You're getting blood poisoning from my toxic masculine. No, I'm not at all. Uh, nope. Well, well, you can never poison me. I um, could. You know how simple it would be to poison you? In a heartbeat. No, I don't think it would be. It would be very simple. It'd be more simple to poison you with the I, way you drink water, dude. I mean, you'd have to inject my water, what? but I, I always inspect it before I come in the You room. don't inspect shit, I make sure I, I do the squeeze, make Inspector. sure no holes. Inspector. <laughs> <laughs> dude, how has no one ever been called that? Inspector. What do we got here, you know? Oh go, my go. god. <laughs> go, go, gadget dildo. You know what I'm saying? If you Take that. It. Yeah. And uh. you whack people with your dildo, and then you get done, and the song plays again. It goes, Inspector. Who, who? Inspector. See? That's the poster you know I mean? right there. That's the poster right there. He's got to have the finger over with the that mouth, little you know? gumshoe hat on the top and shit. And yeah, the fucking wait, gumshoe. What the isn't fuck is gumshoe? Isn't it? Isn't <laughs> I have no idea. Right. <laughs> You're thinking gumshoe or shoe gum? Isn't that called? I thought a Gregory Gumtree. Hold dude. on, hold on. Gumshoe. From Tusk. I thought gumshoe was the type of um, like a detective. Oh, that's gumshoe. <laughs> have you never heard that before? <laughs> All right, dude. I don't know, man. A gumshoe is a detective. Yo, dude. Yo. He'd been intrigued enough to put a gumshoe oh. on the case. So there you go. <sighs> Inspector Gumshoe. You've never met Gregory Gumtree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. But, dude, I love that new thing. Dude. That's a fun. If they allowed the word, we'd make an awesome skit. Dude, they allow it. Um, um don't Everyone be a, says uh, it. You know? Everyone says it. Every show, I, every yeah. podcast I listen to, they say it. Yeah, for sure. Context, though. We you don't, because do I don't like the word. It has a it has a very weird sting to it, you know? For gay men, like myself, it has a weird sting to it, you know? Dude, now that's a great clip. For, for gay, gay men, men like, like me, myself. If, for gay but, men like, like me. If I, but, gay men like me. Gay men Dude, like this is a great me. grinder photo you know? for you, though. Think about it, right? What? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's going to show, oh. What I... But would I like look at the camera or would I just be like, or would it be like a candid, you know? Act would it be like, can No, you're going to act like you're looking at the director behind the camera. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, do that with your mouth open. They'll love that. <laughs> They're scared. Oh, I'm scared. Act embarrassed. All right, ready? Best grinder photo for both of us on three, okay? My hat's backwards. Okay. Ready, All right. okay. What the do you get, do gay guys like that? Do like, I don't, do they no, like but it was weird that you just went to like. <laughs> oh, dude, not now. Let me get ready. My yeah, hold hat, on. Can I my go in hat's the, backwards. Can I go in the? Can I go in the? Let me get my fucking. Yeah, can shit, I get my dude, brows? You, know? you got a trimmer? I'm gonna. Oh trim my up god. Real quick. Um, no, just best grinder photo on three. But look at the camera. <laughs> dude, this is gonna be so awful. I'm, you I don't know how to look. No, no, no. It's gonna be great, but I don't know how to look. This is tough. You gotta try to look grindery. All right, ready? One, two, three. What are you doing? Worst moment of podcasting history right here. Well, he had to be watching. I tied my shirt in and out. Yeah, yo, does yeah, this look gay? Yeah, yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I Take it, Brennan. <laughs> Take it, Brennan. <laughs> we can't mention him. For, we didn't I mention him for top three guys. Yeah, you did. Oh, I thought it was after. I'm like, how did we not mention after, Brandon? Yeah, after. After the fact. Oh, dude, my head yep. hurts. It feels like I'm at a fucking high school basketball dan -dan 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 game. Inspector. Dude, mm -mm. that's dan -dan -dan a Ooh, Dude, has anyone <laughs> figured that out? Has anyone figured out the replacement word? This is adult Mad Libs here. Yeah, they have, right? They have, Adult they have. Mad. Oh, what if they're like, do do they mean bracket? What are they talking about? Do they mean gumshoe? Is that wait? But that doesn't even rhyme with gadget. <laughs> wait, Inspector, Inspector bracket. Yeah. Wait. What about hat trick? Oh, we're talking about hockey. Gumtree, Gary Gumtree is a oh. hockey player in Tusk. Thank you, man. Jesus, Inspector Hat Trick. Who 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 who? You know, dude. You can have yeah, all man. these different gadgets, though. Bro, you make it a web series, dude. Dude, everything should you know? be a web series these days. We can, yeah, except we... for fucking Annabelle. No, I don't know why I said that. Yeah, I got hot. Point. I got hot. Ooh, about it. creep show. I'm gonna watch creep. that tonight. <laughs> From the minds that brought <laughs> you Dopergeist and Little Shop of Hopers. Dun, dun, dun.
comes three tales of twisted terror. <laughs> you'll scream, <laughs> you'll cringe, <laughs> and shiver in fright. Oh, no. This is Dope Show. The most fun you'll ever have. Give me a laugh. <laughs> Being scared. <laughs> Guys, go on our podcast, search Dope Show, and that intro will come up. It's fucking great. We was literally really did a, a perfect rendition of the original trailer for 1980 80, or 81? 81, I think, maybe. Creep Show. Hmm. And we just substitute a couple words for Hopers and Dopers and names of our titles. And it was pretty cool. Mike did a great job editing it. No, you did a good job there, speaking so. it. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, thanks, man. I tried my best to sound you know like a mean? guy my who's in the movie. Maybe. Maybe. But it's fun, guys. We do a lot of cool intros. We don't have them for the video yet because it's kind of weird if we just play audio, you know? Yeah, I know. But if you don't know of our intros, please, please. Oh, dude, there's been so much put into it. Check them, them out. They are hours. so funny. This motherfucker will text me at like 11 p.m. Yeah. some night. So late. And then I'll go out on some night out there and he'll be like, So late. Dude. Finished the intro for 3.50, Check 4 a.m. I said, bro, I said, Mikey's been on this for six Thanks, hours. Man. Yeah, but you know why we do it, bro? Because it's going to be there forever. forever. That's a very good point. Forever. So well, I'm just saying, I, they're there. Yeah. We'll they're be there. able to tell our non-existent children. Our young uh, product of incest grandchildren. Oh. Dude, you don't think you're ever going to get raped by a relative? Are you kidding me? You don't think you're ever going to get raped by a relative? I know I'm never going to. You have been. Dude, no, I thought we, hold on. You can't be existing on this I'm podcast, away, dude. you know what I'm saying, dude? Fuck, man. I, yeah. hope, uh, I hope my aunt's not watching. Uh, oh, shout outs. Like, Perfect time. We're talking about- Shout out. Well, we're talking about family incest. Family rapings. Rape. I'm going to start right here so that way I can actually send this to my send sister. Send the time code. A, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh. Happy birthday, Jess. Happy birthday, Jess. We love you so much. You took us to Six Flags when we were 16. Yeah. And Mikey gave you a heart attack because he played a prank. Do you remember? Yes, I said something, but I do not remember it. You don't remember it, do No, you? I don't remember. Dude. Just, oh, did I say I forgot my insulin when we were in the car? Or a no, test no, no. kit or something? We were in line for something. It's like a oh. 45-minute wait. Oh, yeah. And then you go... Oh, dude, you know what? I forgot my insulin at Stanford. She went, oh, my God. She's like, are you serious? And he's like, no, I'm just kidding. She's like, oh, my God, don't do that. Jess, I'm do that? so sorry. I'm, I did not. I was a little asshole back then. It was funny, though. And now we love you. It yeah. was funny. I remember I was like, would yeah. you drive right now? She's like, yeah, yeah of course. Of course, man. Like, but the ride. I know. <laughs> but the ride. He'll be okay. That was fun, dude. Ride. It was, was really great. random. But yeah. it was just like, I just remember it was like a... Like a Wednesday. She's like, hey, Saturday. Was it during summer or something? Oh, oh, sorry. I, I see what you're saying. I yeah, don't I, remember. Okay. She's like, Saturday, Six Flags? And it was just like weird. Like, yeah. it was great. It was a great time. But like, Amazing. it was just funny that you're like, hey, you guys are going to do a podcast in the future. Why don't we go to Six Flags? Well, and first, we you guys have to get addicted to drugs. But then you oh, can do a podcast. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. It was interesting. Also, happy birthday, Steph. M. I don't want to say your last name. I know. Name of the podcast, That's why I almost to... said yep. my sister's last name. I know. Yes. Uh, I think you can figure it out, dude. Dude, I say. I always say two clicks, two clicks of two links, and they're in there. <laughs> <laughs> two clicks of two links. <laughs> two clicks and two links. Remember Happy I birthday, s- Steph. We love you. I said your name last episode. Yeah, it was great. You're like dropping. Li- I'm I was like, like, don't drop my last name on the like podcast, everyone, man. Everyone is gonna dude, watch. I don't give a fuck, bro. Oh yeah. Wait. Everyone in the from hell, uh, three from hell, has no idea what our last name is. No clue. Good point, good point, no clue. Good it's fine, guys. Yeah, we'll get there. It's fine, guys. Um, are you gonna watch anything? Oh, I'm gonna watch Creep Show. I'm, I'm sure watching you are. Creep Show, bro. Yeah. Probably and the, just wanna get out of here. I think uh, after when this episode comes out, there'll be like two or three episodes out, man. Yeah, but dude, guys, uh, hey, all the big wigs at Netflix, Hulu, Shutter, Shutter especially right hey, now. Drop all the apps at the same time. You're you gonna get, fall into that category. You get more business that way. Yeah, why are you banking on people going, oh, I got to come back next week? Yes. It's so dumb. Dumb. How many more people would be talking about that show right now? They go, six episodes, amazing. Blow through them right now. Or vice versa. Not that Creep Show's yeah. going to suck. I hope Is it not. Vice? I thought it was vice versa. I don't know. Is think, it Vice? Uh, I, I've, hmm. I've said both. My really? Bottom, I've, I don't think I've ever said my Vice. My bottom uh. dollar is going to say Vice a uh, Versa. Vice a uh, Oh, vice, so it's uh, Vice and then a uh, uh, Versa. versa. No, it's just vice versa. Really? Yeah, V I vice and yeah. then versa, dude. Where am I getting the uh from? Vice versa definition, just, dude. Hey, a vice versa. Hey, a vice. Hey, a vice versa. Wow, man. yeah, dude, it's vice versa, really? man. Really? I feel like I've even seen it with like the dash and the a. <laughs> oh wait a second. You're gonna type it in with the dash and the it's a. It's in gonna, Wiktionary. It's gonna be Urban Dictionary. <laughs> yeah, it says Wiktionary. Yo, y'all seen that new vice versa joint? <laughs> yeah, starring Leo. Start. 
Vice versa. Okay, I guess it's vice. All right. Hey, I said it half the Pass time. Against, I could have sworn. I'm not going to believe because I could have sworn. Hmm. I've said them both. I could have sworn. Yeah, you were wrong once. I can't believe it. What is Wiktionary? Can you just do it? Can you just make whatever you want now is my point? Yeah. Can you just be like, oh, the web Wiktionary. Yeah. And we just start our own thing. Yeah. We just put our information. Be like, we're gonna, oh, that's how you say we're gonna it. We're going to create uh, Wikipedia and it's going to be just as big as Wikipedia. Wikidopia. Bro. Not bad, right? It's just all oh, slang terms. Cool. It's all rehab stuff. It's all just cool things. Wikidopia. Wikidopia. Oh, bro. You can find out if someone was ever a drug addict, celebrity, whatever. And we have their history of, you know, you're like, wait, was this was this actor ever a drug addict? You're like, Stop. wait, are they on Wikidopia? And if they're not on Wikidopia, they've never been a drug addict. It's going to be your go-to to find out what they did, how long they were. How long, dude, stop. Bro, we make it a mission. We literally stop doing this podcast. We break all our equipment. Sure. And we just go on the road and we hunt down every celebrity that's ever been. And we yeah. interview them from little celebrities who've been in an episode of fucking CSI to all the way to fucking Brad Pitty. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, dude, here. I'm going to roll up and say, oh, oh, oh perfect. Oh, we're going to get another celebrity put on Wikidopia. Hey, um, Corey Feldman, how long have you been clean? Uh, it's funny because um, the, it was one of the Frog Brothers, and uh, I've been clean now for um, ascension, <laughs> millennium. <laughs> oh, no, Corey, 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 we don't we don't want you to sing right now. No, oh, we oh, really you don't. don't. Want me to. Well, you want me to spin and take my hat yeah. off and do a thing? Want me to? Talk, want well, me to show yeah, we probably hey. do. we actually do want to see that. Yeah, we, so. I, I kind of actually, <laughs> actually you? would want you to do that. Yeah, yeah. But, we yeah. gonna go inside your house and see it. Yeah, really, with you naked? Hey, no? um, yeah. um, yeah, only naked. Oh, um, hey, where did Michael Jackson touch you? Uh, Get your you know hand so, off me. You know what's so funny is that if you ask him how long you've been clean, he would do exactly what he did. He would do the, eh, well, uh, well, well, some frog brothers, and I was using <laughs> cocaine then, of course. Oh, and, man. Uh, well, about four years. Four years. Did you bang Corey Haim? Could you, well, he banged <laughs> me. Oh, he definitely was, though. You know? Corey Haim yeah. was like, I'm the one pumping. Corey Haim, dude, Corey Haim pumped. Oh, Corey yeah. Haim didn't pump. Corey Haim only pumped. He pumped, guys. He got pumped. He only I think pumped. The wrong Corey died. It might be an unpopular opinion. We might lose listeners. No, it's the right the opinion. The wrong Corey died. No, 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 no. Corey Haim was the fucking magic of the Corys. Mm -hmm. Corey Feldman was the fucking sidekick. Mm -hmm. Should have not ever lasted longer than Corey Haim. Right. Fuck you, Corey Feldman, sir. Fuck you hard. Saying that you're clean. Fuck you. I'm gonna not paying this. your fucking angels. Fuck you. Stop being a hypocrite. Get yourself fucking clean and come out of the fucking closet. <laughs> Dude, I was going to say up until that point, I go, this is the most sincere, like, you've been, like, over, like, something, you know? Yeah, dude. dude, I went on a dive listening to these girls' interviews. Yeah. Big Jay Okerson had one of them on his radio show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, he inter and they interviewed them for an hour, and I'm like, dude, I feel so bad for was this she, chick. Was she, was she no holds barred, though? She was telling everything yeah, how it she, is? Yeah, okay. of course. So she's an ex-angel. Ex-angel. Did she suck him? No, no, he's gay as fuck, is dude. Is he really? I don't know, it might be gay. He's, he might be one of those people who just, like, doesn't like to bang anymore. He's so interested in himself. He's, he's just like, his dick's done. He's just done. <laughs> He's All got, he focuses on is music, you know. His dick turned into Michael Jackson's dick in his later life. Michael just like, Jackson's arm. Yeah, and just but you know, Michael's just, just so arm. pumped up with stuff and drugs. He's oh like, yeah, oh, I'm oh, not interested yeah. anymore. Oh yeah. Of course I fuck them kids. Of course I fuck them kids. Kyle Dunnigan. So he's alright. He's kind of weird, dude. Kyle Dunnigan. Yeah. Oh, he's I really watch weird. his Instagram and no, I'm like, weird. this isn't funny. Then no, I watch no, no. the next video. I go, oh, that's hysterical. One out of four is funny. It's crazy. I'm like, why? This isn't funny. He's running around a store knocking stuff over. Yeah, it's a. I'm like, bro. What are you fucking sixteen? Yeah, this isn't Vine. People have to, to get pick attention. this shit up. Yeah, like people have to literally walk down that aisle and pick up your fucking plates that you spilled. Unless he's like, "Hey guys, it's me, Kyle Dunnigan. I'm gonna do a skit. I'll clean everything up, and then we'll get this place some notoriety." Yeah, yeah, that's different. I'm gonna donate a thousand dollars. Yeah, you know, is there a kid in need? I'm gonna support him financially, and I'm gonna rear him. And by support him, he means support him financially. Support. Yeah. Him, guys. We're gonna start Wikidopia. We're gonna start two dopeless porn fiends. The funny thing is, we're not gonna start any of those. Never, because we're doing this podcast. There's been a billion things. There, in all seriousness, there's been ninety four things that we counted things. that we've been like, oh, we gotta do that. The coolest was the movie about the fucking rocket, the Challenger. Oh, that's a cool movie. You want to explain it to them? No, because we've already said it, but I will. Tell them real quick. It's a fucking idea. cool, like, drama, thriller kind of movie about two fucking chicks. Amy Adams is playing the major. They're both teachers. I don't like Amy Adams that much. She's all right. She's a great actress. 
No, wait. Oh, she did like an alien space movie. Never mind. What Parker. did the let's let's look up the what she looked like because then we can get who's oh, gonna play her. Oh yeah, you know the chicken saying? blew up right. Yeah, the challenger is that the one yeah. it was? Yeah, Krista, Krista McAuliffe. Okay, I'm looking. Up a Ooh yeah. Oh, let's see who would play her. Ooh, guys, you can see her. Like I'll put her on screen right there. You can see her. Um, wow. Oh wait, wait. I know who could play her. Whom? Jodie Foster. Doesn't look exactly like no, her, but no, she has but that vibe pick. about her. That's you know what I'm saying? Pick, dude. It's not going to be an exact mm. rendition, but it's going to be like a Jesse Eisenberg playing, uh, you know, uh, uh, what's his name? Zuckerberg. It's going to be like that. That's a really good pick because right? all you need to do is give her that same hair. And she yeah. almost has that square kind of jaw. Exactly. She can do the, she can do the clench. The, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like the know? eyes are different, obviously, in the mouth, but it'll capture the essence of um, Krista McAuliffe. Okay. Basically, it's just about... Oh, no. What? No, no, no. Great pick, dude. I'm sorry. Keep yeah. on. No, Proceed. basically, I was just going to say it's about them, and it's a teacher. She was a teacher, and then you get another teacher. Yeah. They both... She, the, she was the backup to Krista McAuliffe, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And it's about them training, because they obviously had to go through the same of training. Of course. Because, hey, man, if something happens right before Krista... You know, every astronaut has, like, a backup. Yeah. Oh, so you always some, have to, yeah. Something happens, man. She gets sick or whatever. Oh, boom, this backup's going. Right. And they're training, and the first 45 minutes is, you know, all this training, da-da-da. And, but she's super fucking jealous, bro. And she wants to basically sabotage Chris. She wants to get uh, on the fucking she spaceship, right? She wants to be right? the main one. Yeah, she wants to be the main one. And then we don't know when the blow-up's going to happen, if that's going to be the climax of the movie. Yeah. And then she, the main character's going to realize, oh, my God. I just fucking hated this woman forever. I wanted to be in her spot. I was so jealous. I went to her house one night and I was going to break in the door and break her fucking leg. Like all this crazy right. shit. And oh my God, she basically saved my life because she went up there and I didn't. And it's shown that from the could point be, of view of her, right? The most of the movie. She's the main character. She's the main character. She's the main character. Oh, so Chris is not the main character. No. Oh. No. So you want Jodie Foster playing the non-main character. Well, it's not. I'm not saying main to main. I'm saying it's it. going to be like... It's going to be 50 They're 50. both main. 100%. Almost, 100%, 100%, 100%. I mean. Sorry. They're kind Same of character. both main characters, yes. okay. I guess. Okay. But I'm saying one lasts longer than the other is basically wow. what I'm saying. And here's the But we don't know if it's going to... I have no idea. But if that's that her. is the backup because I remember when we looked this up on the other podcast. That is the backup. Wow, the more attractive yep. one survived. And um, she, who's going to play her, is oh, dude, Jesse Eisenberg, Emma Stone. Dude, say no more, that's, money more, bro, bro. That's, that's good, right? Good, dude. We have a billion dollar movie, dude. That's fucking good. This is Oscar shit. This dude, is a drama, hundred percent. Little bit of like like thrillery, but it's mostly like a drama kind of movie. Yeah. Yep. We want Oscar buzz, guys. We want to, you know, dude, we want Oscar. There's been Oscars. many movies where jealousy is the main motivation. Oh, dude, 100%. Showing it through the eyes of them. No question. But dude, now we got to figure out if the explosion happens an hour into the movie and then the last third act is about her coming to terms and then she helps Chris's family out. Like she yeah. becomes like a fucking staunch supporter in safety for, you know, whatever. Like she, she turns, she basically literally does a 180 on her whole persona or. We do it where that was the climax and when it blows up and it's a five minute recap. What did you just get an idea of? Bro. What's the idea, duty? Get ready for this bombshell. Clear your throat first, yep. <clears throat> there you go. Get ready for this bombshell. There we go. Dude, Emma Stone, okay? Of course, everything you just said, make it where the last half hour is showing her doing all of that. Okay, you want that? To, okay, so we can do that. We can have the explosion happen about an hour in. Yeah, okay. you got like 30, 35 minutes yeah, left. It's like okay. the, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the conclusion. She's doing all this stuff. Okay. Helping, she's doing his regulations. Helping the family, stuff. and 100%. then she gets involved in safety shit. Yeah. She goes up. Come what? on, find out. What? She she's rigged the explosion. She sabotaged the fucking shit. Perfect. And that's in the last 10 seconds. Okay, we can't do that. Why not? Because then you mess with history, and then it becomes that oh. you're... You're, you're you're murdering her name, then Oscar Buzz is gone. Okay, so does this, you this can't has do to that. be the same character, same situation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you okay. can't, because then it's not Oscar Buzz. Yeah. That's a cool idea, and like, mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. I think we even talked about that before. It's like, what if she sabotages it? She like, and it's pulls like, a fucking thing yeah, out. Yeah, like, like I, I get that, but yeah. then we're not talking Oscars, dude. Yeah. You know, we need to fucking get Oscar Buzz. This is Jody Foster. You need to make it a Stone. straight fucking drama, little thrillery, yeah. but yeah. more the drama aspect to it. Uh, and the human oh, condition the like like get out the, alternate ending deleted for sure okay perfect. for sure say no more we'll still yeah. film or it though. what we can mess with is that she gets involved in the astronaut she just training whatever blah 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 and then a year later she gets to go up in a rocket that explodes and she dies you know what i'm saying <laughs> everyone explodes done everybody's exploding Dude, Wait, I think but that's it says perfect cast. challenger michelle williams to star in challenger space shuttle crew member movie okay 
Are you making this up? No, this oh, is from you... October 2nd, 2018. I swear to God, Mikey, I'm not lying. Show me. <laughs> What's that? What is this? Holy shit. I'm going to read it to you. Oscar nominee Michelle Williams has signed on to play Krista McAuliffe in The Challenger, a true story drama about the infamous NASA space shuttle that exploded just over a minute after launch. McAuliffe was a New Hampshire school teacher, was selected, blah, blah, blah. Hold on. No, I want to see if there's like a twist to like 100%. What, what, what it's actually going to be about. You can't just make it about like I that. I know, I know. Are you going to make it? The space shuttle program was put on pause for nearly three years and the federal da, da, da. director of an Oscar nominated Danish film, Land of Mine, will direct this film from a script by Jay Rothwell. Ben Renzover, da, 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 who earned. So there's nothing. Because you know how movies, especially about true stories, will have like a, they'll focus on one thing. So yeah. is this going to be about the relationship between Michelle Williams and her family? Yeah. Is it going to be the about her training in an astronaut? Mm -hmm. Like, what is it going to be about? So I don't know what this is going to be about. But this is after, about two years after we said this, Dude, documented here. on fucking black dick microphones, you know? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no, no, no. We said it first. Someone, they dude, stole our fucking shit, guys. Dude, there's so many things. American Horror Story, we're not going to talk about the season, but they stole an idea from us about yeah. this season. Oh, my God. They took basically some... Oh, oh, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Bah, 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 bah. Wow. Wow. Oh, this is, be, so this this is, is October, October 2018. This is less than a year ago. So this is probably going on, dude. They, ca they cast the wrong person. Yeah, dude. Of course they're going to have Michelle Williams, but you, you shouldn't have. Did you see her fucking speech at the Emmys? No. No. No, I did not. I just heard about it. She said, like, it's about, like, women's equality and women's pay and this and blah, that. It was like, <laughs> blah, blah, dude, enough. Dude, I'm so sorry, but come on, and every day. And to make day. 52 cents on the dollar. Which isn't true. And a woman to be paid equal and for older white men to take my opinion seriously so that they can perhaps let a woman, especially a woman of color, one day be on this stage and to let her win an award and say they did the good thing of trusting her and her judgment and her opinion of what she needed on set. Okay? 52 cents on the dollar! Was that her? On the fucking dollar! Was that her speech? Minus the last 10 seconds. Okay. Hey, Michelle, how much did you get paid for the last movie run? Yeah, exactly. Where's well, my she, equal pay? She was basically saying, like, she got paid equally for this movie, but she was saying about, like, the makeup people and the hair people, because I guess it was for that movie with Sam Rockwell. Oh, yeah, and yeah, And she yeah, had yeah. makeup on yeah. or something, or it might have been for a different movie. It was for a movie that she had makeup. She thanked Sam Fossey. Rockwell in the speech, so I don't know if that was yeah. from something else. She had makeup on. And she was like thanking that department and then talk. And then she goes into the thing about, wait, it's two minutes. Just watch it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Not now, but That's I'm saying just watch deal. it. And it's just talking about them getting paid or I don't know. It's it's not relevant because God damn it. This is 20 years old. Women do not make um, whatever is 76 cents to the dollar. It's not true. That's based on hours based and on jobs. men work more hours. Yes. Okay. Yep. If a woman gets hired and works the same hours as a guy, she, the guy's the not making pay. more. It is that is insane. It's the same pay, and you know what's fucking funny, guys? We graduated high school two thousand five. If you look at our class and some of the girls in our class, they are more successful than any of the guys in our class. I bet you okay? the most successful was a girl. That's a girl what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like four girls that we know that were like, oh yeah, they so have smart. really good jobs right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, like they have really good jobs right now. Brain they, surgeon shit. They make not. I don't think anyone's a brain surgeon. I just threw it out. There. That's pretty. That's like fucking. That's a lot. <laughs> smart. They make nine hundred grand a year. Yeah. No, I'm saying like people like advertising <laughs> agencies yeah. or whatever, like yeah, yeah. just well-paying jobs. Mm -hmm. White women, college-educated women, make more than white. College educated men. It's right. not fucking hard. Yeah. No one walks in and the boss goes, I love these two candidates. We're going to hire both of them. We're going to give the broad $10. We're no. going to give the guy 11 Maybe in the 50s. Yeah. It doesn't work like that anymore, man. God it's damn it. It's the amount of hours put it in. It's the type of jobs. Guys no are willing question. to do. Guys are willing to do more uh, life threatening guys jobs. Guys do the most dangerous jobs in the world when it comes to mining, if it comes to uh, being a lineman, like fixing electric yeah. shit. Uh, um, excuse so me. Are you saying being a mother is not dangerous? Hey, you know, I mean, come on. Uh, it's really I not. mean, uh, you get to wear pajamas all hey. day and watch fucking Blue's Clues. <laughs> yeah. Rather do that than be in the mine soaking fucking in black guy. lung. Yeah. I got fucking black lung. That it's guys a Bill Burr bit. That's yeah. that's what we're saying. It's, it's not a yeah. Mike P square. Is it bit. really though being the yeah, being a mother? Really? You know, yeah. Talk to the guy who's fucking yeah. drilling oil yeah. for a living. Seventy two hours a week. <laughs> fucking explosions every five minutes. You got to take Timmy no. to fucking preschool. But no. No. Look, it's a I'm hard a mother. job. Hard, dude, mother's a hard job. I we love had some, my we mother had, and dude, being a mother's a hard job. Hard working moms growing up. For sure. But the guy in Uruguay fucking digging oh my the God. mine his whole oh life my is God. working a little harder. Yeah, I'm just, you he know. He doesn't have air conditioning. First of all, Mikey. suicide rate for men is up. If you look yeah, at, yeah, it's yeah. higher than women. 
also, if you look at, if you include prison in the rape stats, men are raped more than women. Absolutely. It's it's just the fact. It's also, it's, 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 it's pieces, the pieces that are getting used. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like, people would never think that. You go, wait, who gets more, who gets raped more on earth, men or women? Wow. Men get raped more on earth than women. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yes. Because if of prison? If you include prison. Oh, if you include prison. Yeah. Yeah, just like what you, what, what you just said about yeah. if you include prison. Yeah. Wow. If you're talking about prison stats as well as yeah. and the, Any, every yeah. single stat in the world. Men get raped more than women. There's, it happens all the time. But if you exclude prison, the numbers aren't even close. Yeah. Wow. But I'm just, I'm just saying, it's like if we get sent to jail for a crime we didn't commit, you know, a la, what's his name for making a murderer? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Brendan Dassey? <laughs> no. Stephen the, Avery? Yeah, Stephen Avery. Yeah, you know, yeah, now yeah. with the shocking news that came out, you yeah. know. But anyway, if we it. went to jail for a crime we didn't commit, odds are we're going to get raped. Especially, if a yeah. chick goes to jail, she's yeah. not going to get raped. Yeah, yeah. Most likely. I know we said it before. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. You're going away for 25 years. I already have my answer. How long does it take to join the Aryan Brotherhood? One day? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. What? Mine might be. I mean, what? Where are they? I'm not going to do it. But no, I'm walking no, over. But dude. yeah. I'm walking over saying, hey, guys, what do you need? But And that has nothing to do with their beliefs or their whatever. It's just that Protection. there's nowhere. Well, no, but it's not about that. It's there's nowhere else for me to go. So if I could join the Latin Kings, then I join the Latin Kings. Right. It's the only See one that's going to invite you in with open that's, arms. It, it's it's our only choice. Yeah. Obviously, the main thing is about protection, but I mean, that's not why we're choosing this gang. Yeah. The only reason we're choosing this gang is because that's all we Hey, man. Where my, are we going to go? Unfortunately, my skin matches your skin. Where are we going to go? What do you need dude? me to do? I'm going to go with the brothers? Like, yeah, right. Which brothers? The brothers. The brotherhood. I no, I meant African American people. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I was like, mm. I know what you're talking about. You dude. can start spitting and then the. the the cl- yeah. The no, boy- I'm cool, right? No, You're the- gonna rape me. No. I can rap. No. What happened is the brother is gonna say, "Hey, man, you don't fucking rap no more." <laughs> They're gonna say, "Are you fucking serious? All you do is suck cock, boy." Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's what you're here for. Yeah. Twenty five to yeah. life. That's a funny skit, though. It's a funny skit to be like, yep. "We'll read your papers, man. Yeah. You're only doing ninety days. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fucking tattoo on the forehead. You're all tatted up." I was good, man. Bro, that was pretty don't good. Fucking pretty touch good. Me. Don't ever dude, fucking touch bro, me. Bro, that's a good fucking idea. That's a good skit. That's a good, good skit. skit. A white dude goes in, Hand gets all papers. tatted yeah, up, yeah, yeah. dude, and shit like that. <laughs> and he comes in, it's like, oh, what? Dude, you're you're out in 30 days, son. You know? <laughs> so where do I stop? Where do I my first tat? What do I gotta do? I gotta kill someone first? <laughs> that's pretty good, man. I Wait, are we talking it. about the same thing? Are we talking about the same idea? Yeah. That a guy goes in and gets all tatted up and joins the Aaron Brotherhood, but he 100%. only had to spend 30 he only, days in there. They, they, okay, yeah, I'm making sure. Okay. Goes to the warden's office. He been do, we're yeah, going to let you exactly. out. You're yeah. supposed to only do 45 days. We're going to let you out in 30. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. He's like, well, you know, I'm in here for 25 to life. So, Ain't son, no. what are you talking about? You were arrested for shoplifting a candy bar. You're in for 30 days. You know? <laughs> Ain't no such thing as easy time. <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. Me and Mikey did fucking rehab and thought that was like, God, this is so terrible. <laughs> When that's a fucking cakewalk compared to, I've been in here for 48 years. Dude, it's crazy. <laughs> These guys have been in there for so long. Some guys have been in there since literally Kennedy got Nixon assassinated. Nixon was president. Yeah. yeah, it's fucking crazy. For weed. Yeah. Or murder. Well, no, no, no. They did let off a lot of a lot weed of them. Uh, lot of them. offenses. Isn't so. Kim K doing that? I call her Kim K. Kim K? Kim K! How about you, Chris? <laughs> You know, for the life of me, I couldn't find that scene. I, w- I threw it on. I go, wait, where is that? Oh, you threw it on? You couldn't even find it? I couldn't find the scene. Oh, it's the um, is it before, bad. after. It's that oh, scene. it's right before yeah. that, right? No, it's that scene. It's that scene. It's Which, her, not she not when she gets though. killed, yeah, but yeah. when she says the first time, yeah. yeah. So what about you, Chris? What, what can you do in your dreams? dreams? Guys, watch our, uh, listen to our commentary that we did with my brother Rob. On, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Dream Warriors. Because it was a doozy. And, and the king easy. always has some hot knowledge, and so does Mikey. He does. Know. He drops a lot of knowledge. He drops things that just aren't on IMDb. I go, where yeah, do you get these I know. from? He's like, ah, her no. daughter was in blank, blank, and they were raised on a pig farm. He what? loves the connections. Yes. He loves to connect them, so it was a good one. But yes, it was a good one. Did you know, bro? Did you know, you don't know? that the six cents made more money on the second weekend than the first? Than on the first. First, good, good, hand, good, Dude, good that drop. That never happens. It rarely bro. happens, especially yeah. now yeah. with the yeah. internet and stuff. Where yeah. word, it's like, no, no, no. It's like you, if, word spoilers, get whatever. Yeah. This was word of mouth. Yep. Fucking, oh my god! Have you seen the Sixth Sense? And you just hear that a thousand times. Here's Six Sense, and she fucking goes on. I listened to the episode. You did. I didn't get a chance. I'm not gonna watch okay. Mimic for a while. Okay, okay. But it, no, it was it was a good okay. app for some of it. Okay. Six Sense, dude. 
you can't get there's a lot of these lightning in the bottle things yep that just aren't gonna happen anymore and you nope. have to blame the internet you have to blame technology yes because i'm not blowing oh, up oh yeah no like six cent that will there will never be a movie with a twist like the six cents that will not be spoiled a la lashaw mccoy you know dude if six cents came out Yo, yesterday, like iron man Yo, i killed tony stark spoiler sorry guys oh shit you're right it's only been out for eight hey, years. years that's all right Oh no, he was put. Yo, man, it's been Bruce Willis was Bruce Willis the whole time, yeah, man. Dude, exactly, man, <laughs> exactly. Bruce you Willis had a hairpiece on the whole time. The whole time, whole time, the entire time. But it's so funny how, if you rewatch The Sixth Sense, it's so obvious oh. that Bruce Willis is dead. I didn't even realize. I forgot. I haven't watched movie in like two years. Mm -hmm. He gets shot in the stomach in the beginning, in the first scene, yep. and he's on the bed bleeding. Uh. And then it just says the next fall, and then he just walk. You're like, okay, he's alive. Right. Like, fucking Shyamalan just gives you yeah. the whole twist, and that's the genius in that movie. Absolutely. Is that when you rewatch it, it makes it so much better. Right. Oh yeah. There, I, we've seen movies where twist just for twist sakes, yeah. where you're like, oh my god, dude, you're this like, doesn't. On. Now when I go back and watch it, it doesn't add anything to it. Yeah. If anything, it brings up holes. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. If this person was this person the whole time, yeah. if he was in on it, then there's no way yeah. that this would happen. Stupid holes. The Sixth Sense is perfectly crafted when it comes to the twist. I think it's going to go down in history as the best twist. Easily. I think it I already think it is. is known as right now. Ooh, fight Best club. twist. No, I think, I think Sixth Sense is more known for the twist. Good point. Whether it's known as a better movie or not, yeah. I think when you say twist... You think six cents? See, and that's why I think we always appreciated the village because yeah. oh, because like you can say what you want love about the movie. movie. I've always loved it. I love the but village. He he knows how to make a scene work in the favor of the twist yes. to look back on later, yep. and he did it great and in the village. And that twist is is fucking revealed forty five three minutes into the movie. Yeah, that's not even an end of the movie twist. Right. That's a half movie twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's not the Shyamalan did a double twist on that. He He's like, you got you guys think twist gonna be at the end? No, 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 no. I'm gonna drop it right in your dumb nah, holes, right nah, in the nah. right in the right, right in the middle, right up the. Absolutely. I fucking love The Village, man. I've always done it. I love The Village. I think it's a great movie. Adrian I really Brody do. needs to get more respect for playing him. Um, that's your uh, past is the more handsome version of Adrian Brody. You oh, know no, he's saying? a handsome guy. He's a handsome is guy. Is he, though? Dude. Yeah, he's a handsome guy. Is he's he? He has guy. that weird look. I watched Splice the other night. He has a weird look. Did you just look. watch it again? Because you just said this last week. Or you just mean the last that's time you watched Splice? Meant, dude. That's oh, Jesus what Christ. Let me tell you Splice. Dirt. That's that movie meant, got sir. so forgot about because 100%. it's not that good. It was such a big deal, though, like when it came I out. No, It was like, Splice. Have you seen Splice? It's like the newer alien species. Yeah, yeah. no. No, 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 no. And I hate the girl in it. The girl who's like playing her. the main chick? Yeah, you like her. I don't oh, like her. Oh, you mean the wife, like the girlfriend. Yeah. I thought you meant this. Would you bang the species thing? 100, 100 There's a time where you're going. Percent. Okay. Bro, you know tail? who that species girl is related to? In the movie or no? No, no, no. Just I'm saying in pop culture. Who oh. that species girl is related to. Whom? The chick in the first segment of VHS. They are weird relatives. That character and that character are weird relatives. Right? They're very similar. They have the wide faces. I like you. I like you. I like you. No. I like you. No. How about when I her like feet you. turn into those things? Yeah, no one, fuck, no one cares. Yeah. No one they go, gives They a all fuck. try to pump, dude. Yep. Yep. Dude, it's so good. Yeah, man. I love... What's it called? Uh, bachelor uh, Night? Bachelor, no. No, no. Not Boys Night Out. It's like something it, like that, Not ba Bachelor Night? No. What the fuck? I don't know. Is it Bachelor Night? No, it's called... Uh, yeah, Bachelor Bachelor Boys. Um, no, it's something night. One Night Out? One Night Stand. Oh, oh. oh. Is it One Night Out? A night... It's something like... No, dude, we're I so think it's close. Bachelor, it's... Uh, Date night. Uh, no. Um, yeah, we're so, I got to listen uh, to all the Yeah. Uh, it's a it's, uh, bachelor party. It's uh, bachelor boys. You don't have it? Wikipedia sucks. What? It's on Wikipedia. Frame I know, I'm on oh, it. Oh, you got to uh, scroll. It Amateur night. Amateur night. Amateur night. 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 Amateur night. 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 Amateur we are walking on the night, board night, and we're amateurs, night, amateurs, night, amateurs, night, amateurs, night, amateurs. We amateur are just night, amateurs. We night, are just night, amateurs. Can amateur you see night, me be shaking night, like amateurs? Night, amateur, amateur night. night. Amateur night, night, night. night. We're always in sync, dude. It's so See, weird. guys, that's fucking great, man. Wow. Well, you know what, dude? I'm going to go watch Creep Show. We're going to watch Creep Show, not together, separate, but we're Never. probably going to be like, yo, dude, Creep Show was dope. Or, dude, can you believe how bad that was? <laughs> Five we're, more episodes. We're but... definitely going to be texting each other if we liked it or not. In Corey Feldman's voice, though. what we do. Oh, Creep Show. I almost started in 1982's the Yeah, yes, me, I said, no, I'm playing a frog, brother. Yeah. I bang frogs. Lost Boys, dude. Yeah. Totally. We'll do a. That could be about Michael's 
homosexual repressed repressed homosexuality. He does. It's, pump, it's a theory going around. He pumps no, it's that star, he doesn't. No, no, but he's kind of. For, she's always way more into him. Yeah. Also, she was hot. there's always a weird thing with Stephen Dorff. Not Stephen Dorff. What's his name? Uh, Jason Patrick. J- no, oh, no, no, no. Him. Yeah, Jason Patrick oh, and, uh, and uh, Val uh, Kilmer. Uh, Kiefer, <laughs> Kiefer Sutherland. There's a weird like sexual chemistry between them. Yeah. I listen to this, that podcast. That's. Remember? Oh that, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what they're no, talking about. I'm right. like, oh my god, I never they thought about that. They do have that. Like, they're like the opposite of track, but then yeah, they're like, then it's they're like battling for each other. For, yeah. No, for some reason, he's always obsessed with Michael. Michael, Kiefer Sutherland, like, it has a weird obsession with him. David, and I'm like, wow, I've never thought Ooh, that. Yeah. Hey, man, and Corey Haim just caught in the gay middle of it, you know. And Star so hot. Oh, so, oh my I dude, love are you kidding Star. Me? Who's hotter? Who'd you rather bang, Star or Mona Lisa? And my cousin Vinny. It's not even a question, Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa, 100, right? Mona Lisa Vito. Dude, that body, that streak in the hair. And the purple dress that oh, I like the... Dude, pfft. my biological clock is ticking like this. Come here, Vinny. Okay? You don't know. They were. what? I love it, man. <laughs> I'm a fast cook, I guess. Wait, actually, could you say that again? <laughs> I was all the way over here. Can you say that again? What's the same guy who sold Jack his beats long beats? <laughs> I love that. Are you sure about that five are minutes? Are you are you, are sure? you sure about that five minutes? Yeah. So the oh, same fuck. podcast I listened to about Lost Boys did an episode of my cousin Vinny, and he interviews a lawyer and he and they go through the movie to ask how real certain scenes are oh, I love and those. certain protocols. Yeah. There's a lot of shit that wouldn't happen. Right. But the lawyer's like, listen, you gotta excuse it because it makes for a great cinematic moment. Absolutely. Especially that moment when he's yelling at the thing. He's like, you wouldn't yell at an old lady like that. Oh. He goes, you really want to be super sympathetic, especially with dealing like a with a witness like that. Yeah. Uh, that was one example, but I was like, "Damn, this is cool!" Like you're interviewing a legit lawyer. And There's he's... a guy who does that for all the Always Sunny court cases. There's a how many were there? Three? three. Yeah, but he does like a 25 minute break. Wow, what's the best? It's Always Sunny court one, one to you. The best Always Sunny. Uh, yeah. Always Sunny. Always Sunny. Best Always Sunny court scene. Ooh, probably. Come on, Uncle Jack with the giant hands. Okay, I like World Series defense, dude. Oh, stop! It's my I, was, I, I forgot about the one for a second. Oh, I'm it's, like, it's hands dude, down the best, the best one. That's stop. the best one. Stop! Get okay, out of here, dude. okay, okay. Reynolds okay. versus Reynolds. Eh. It's, it's all right. It, it's funny. No, I like the, crazy. Court, the court ones are fine. No, I just think World Series no, no, defense no, no. is the one. best court one. Number yeah. one by far. Traffic. You guys are trying to get a traffic ticket, right? Yes, yeah, Your Honor. But this is worth. This is about much more than a traffic <laughs> ticket. I love it. And the judge is whom from the lady from Jeepers Creepers, dude. Jeepers Creepers. You heard that song play, didn't you? And the director touches little kids' beepers. And dude, somehow he still gets them. movies made. Still gets fucking features. Yeah, dude! Yes! Ba-da-ba-ba-da-ba! Boop. Let's get Guys, the fuck out of here, dude. Great episode. Thanks for you two being in. As always, this has been the... Baseball hitting and never women quitting. Mm. Two. Dope blood. Ho. Fiends. That's a foul ball. Word. I was too nervous. Now we're too nervous. I was too nervous. Now I'm too nervous. We were too nervous. Now we too nervous. We were too nervous. Now we too nervous. Too, 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 too